I now call to order the new Carlisle City Council meeting, Wednesday, September 12th at 2018 at 7 p.m. Uh, one of our members of councils is running late and will be with us shortly, so we will hold the floor until he arrives. Mr. Bridge, will you call the roll? Sure. Uh, Councilman uh, Cobb? Here. Uh, Vice Mayor Lindsay? Here. Mayor Reynolds? Here. Councilman Lowry? Here. All right, I will do our invocation tonight. We all don't mind standing. <coughs> Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the ability to meet in this freest country in the world. Thank you for our firefighters and our first responders and our police, Lord. Uh, bless our town and bless us as we work to continue to make New Carlisle and move it in the a forward direction. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So I pledge of the flag here. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> I'm squeeze behind you guys. Ron, can you pass me one of those, please? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think there. All righty. We have no minutes tonight, no communications, no city manager's report, comments from members of the public. Please limit comments to five minutes. Any comments? All right, hearing none. Committee reports none tonight. Resolutions none. Ordinances none. Other business, the 2019 to 2023 Capital Improvement Plan. Mr. Bridge. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, members of council, members of public. Um, we're here today to talk about 2019-2023 Capital Improvement Plan. This is a draft version, and we will have a resolution, hopefully at the 10-1 uh, uh, meeting. Uh, to pass this. So again, this is just the first draft. This is the same thing we do uh, a lot. I mean, every year. Uh, how this really sets up is we don't know what we're going to get operating wise in 2019 yet. So how we do it is we kind of say this is the things we need. We get a, a, a capital plan together and we may have to amend this once we start talking about our 2019 operating budget. So any questions on this, I'd be happy to answer them. I did change up the format a little bit this year. I separated it out. There's a table of contents with it. <clears throat> Same similar thing I did with the budget last time around, just make it a little more user friendly. Um, and they're broken up between capital, I mean, general fund, capital expenses, our special levy tax funds, that's our police capital, our streets, our fire and EMS, all those are either levy based for, for their revenue or they're taxed based for their revenue. And then of course our enterprise funds, our wa wastewater, water, cemetery and pool. Um, reminder everyone, YouTube enterprise funds are supposed to be self-supportive um, and a general fund can make transfers to them if needed. So we'll start on page one and it's basically just an overview of all the total expenses for all the departments in one page without going into detail of what those numbers actually mean. Um, you can review that real quick. Uh, the beef of it though is past this page. Uh, so if you guys are ready to proceed, just let me know. Okay, so we'll start off on page two. That's general fund capital <coughs> expense. And the first one up there is finance. Um, finance has got a kind of low CIP. Um, council graciously accepted us last year to do the big software upgrade. A lot of the money is being poured into that this year. Um, we are now in training with that. It's not fully implemented. Um, um, they're at classes right now um, in Kalahari, up in Sandusky, learning some VIP stuff, I mean, um, some software stuff as well. Um, I think in the next couple months, we'll have that all wrapped up and it will be live and um, We'll all be using that new VIP up upgrade. So um, we do need to keep some money in there just in case we need to do a media license up upgrade on that software because that does happen. Um, last year we had to do SQL upgrade for Microsoft. Um, so we need to have some money. I don't know if we're going to spend all that 7000 We probably more than likely won't, but we need to have something in there just in yep. case we have to do kind of any upgrades on that software. Printer replacements. Um, for a couple years, we thought that we would have to get two new dot matrix printers. Those are the printers that have little spools on the side. You got to rip the paper off the side. But since we upgraded to that BAP software, we literally can just go get two or three hundred dollar laser printers at Staples. So we don't need the high the, uh, dot matrix printers like we thought we would need last year. Oh, okay. So as you will see, there's nothing in there except 2021, and that's just a security blanket. In 2021, if something goes wrong with any kind of printer, or if we need to get one. We have the money in there. Again, that's 2021, so we can amend that next year or the year after. Any questions on finance? Council? I just have one. Sure. So it starts out at 7,000 next year, and then 10, and then bumps up to 12 and 12, and then 12 again. 
So is there is there, is there a reason why it's 12 and 12 and 12? Or? The reason I, up, I upped it is because they have different extensions you can get with this software package. Okay. You know, so if we wanted, we already got analytics, but if we wanted to get something else they offer, that costs money. Okay. You know, so. So potential upgrades. Potential upgrades. Okay. Yep. That's fine with me. Council? Do, <clears throat> Mr. Mayor, sorry. Go ahead. Do we really need the 7000 there and twenty one for printer replacements if we can just use the regular? I mean, $7,000 is going to buy a lot of desktop printers. For, for what? For 2021? For 2021. But down here in printer replacement, you have 2022. So, but there was nothing in 2022. No, that's probably just a mistake. No, I got you. I'll fix that. Okay. You're more welcome to knock it down. I mean, it, it probably could be come down a little bit. Because you, be you can get pretty good printers for, I mean, I got an office printer that cost me about 300 bucks. I would knock it down. You can knock it down. Like I said, it's two years away. I just put it in there for a security blanket just in case we needed to get some sort of big printer. And that goes across the board. It doesn't have to be for right. finance software. We may have a catastrophic thing where we have to get a new big copier, even though yeah. we're not going to get one. Well, that, you know? the 7000 wouldn't buy that one anyhow. So. Yeah, it come close. Did it? Really? Yeah. yeah okay. I think the last one we just got was just like 8000 Okay. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I mean, if you guys want to knock that down, I have no problem with it. I mean, it, if we're going to knock it down, it needs to be above 2200 Anything below 2200 is not considered a capital expense per our uh, financial rules. So if we do knock it down, if it goes below 22, then it's going to be removed altogether. I okay. was just thinking maybe taking it down to 4,000, 4, 4,500. Sure. I mean, that still will buy a lot of $300 printers, you know. Mm -hmm. And then in 21, if something happens and you need more money, then we can allocate it sure. then. But Council. So does, council does anybody, on on, you guys on council, have a problem with that? Knocking it down to no. four thousand forty-five. Which would you prefer? Let's get four, let's get four thousand five hundred. Just so it's a little That's bit more, fine. just in case something. Mr. Cobb, what do you think? Hey, you know you're at, you priced one at seven thousand. If you ever had to replace the printer. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But I think I think these are what what he's talking about. These printers, Ron. If I if I understood you correctly is desktop printers for individual use and if that's the case you can get one of them for a couple hundred bucks well i did say that but it's also if we had to get another small printer like we just got and we we just bought one but mm -hmm. I, I say knock it down because like yeah. i said we'll have all of 19 and all of 20. But we, yeah, but this we bought this yeah, three years away three years. yeah and we bought the maintenance program on that so the printer you we just <clears throat> bought or, or we'll be getting soon if it doesn't last longer than three years then Somebody picked the wrong printer. <laughs> well, it could be, I mean, there's other things that come out of our finance. Yeah. Like if the, part, if the tax department needed a dedicated printer, I mean, right. they, they might change the rule next year. The state of Ohio says you can only print certain tax things off a certain printer. Because when you they save stuff, well, I don't know. I'm oh. just saying it could. I'm just not saying it will. Because when you print stuff, it actually saves some of that data in the printer itself. Yeah. Does that make one yeah. wireless yeah. printer? Yeah. yeah. Well, the bigger printers, I don't think. Yeah. The desktops do. Yeah. But the bigger printers. All do. printers do. If it's really? wireless, mm -hmm. yeah, if it's wireless. Oh they yeah, print. mine's wireless. You can get a uh, my, my report printed out of everything. I would be printed. comfortable going down to four thousand. Be honest. Four thousand. Four thousand. All right. And that again, and that's that's three years okay. that that we can tug and say, and you know what, in in twenty twenty, we might be able to be, like, be like, we don't need it at all. I'm taking yeah. Next year we like we need three. We need five thousand. Yeah, I mean. Well, yeah, I mean. This is just a wish list. It's not guaranteed. It's a wish list yeah. and a draft because once once we plug okay. these numbers into our actual twenty nineteen operating. Exactly. I mean that twenty nineteen and seven thousand. We might when we talk about the operating budget, we may see when we plug that number under our on our budget, we need to, we might need to take that down. Yeah. Okay. The four thousand down? No, the seven thousand for software upgrades. Yeah. Who oh, knows? Okay. Yeah. What uh, this does, it gives you an idea of where how you want to how how you how how can you manage your twenty nineteen budget with your capital. Right. Yeah. Good deal. The uh, <clears throat> I know we haven't got there yet, but on planning, what is this? Is this everyone done with yeah, let's, let's oh, wait. Yeah, wait one second. <laughs> that, are you are you okay? You're good. Finance. <laughs> All right. Do you have any questions on finance? Great, sir. Uh, you want to just take that, Mr. Planning. <laughs> Mr. Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, planning. Our JS office. We have money actually allocated in 2018 still for that. And I think it's $5,000. Yeah. Yeah. It could be a little bit less. Um, I put that in there because I, when I was doing this, I went back and looked at the pricing on this Octray, and it's increased significantly. Okay. Um, so I don't know if we're going to get it in 18. For the price of trying to buy it, so I might look at maybe a. Well, 19 will be more, wouldn't it? 
Well, here's the reason I'm locked it down is because I'm looking at a little ArcGIS is essentially the Cadillac of mapping softwares. That's okay. Cadillac. Okay, that's they have mapping software. They have Ford versions of For it. For underground too. lines and stuff? Yes, they, okay. have, they have Ford versions of it too. <clears throat> okay. It's called AccuGlobe. Actually, the Auditor GIS page, when you look at their, their AccuGlobe, <clears throat> I, only, I only know ArcGIS. That's what I was trained on in school. ArcGIS and ArcGlobe are compatible, I'm assuming. I haven't researched enough, but ArcGlobe is usually cheaper. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to buy that in 18 or I'm going to wait and I can price it out for a cheaper. Because at the end of the day, it gets you to where you want to go. Yeah. Does that make sense? So again, 18 we have it in there. If we end up buying it in 18, we're not going to need that there in 19. Yeah, but let's keep it there. So, just to be safe. <clears throat> so if we have 5,000 already airmarked in don't quote 2018, that. well, whatever that, I'm, you said five, that's what I'm using. Uh, and you add the other three to it, and we buy it next year. That would actually give you eight thousand, correct? Wouldn't that five thousand carry forward? No, or no, because no? if I don't spend anything in eighteen, it that's goes not an over with. Okay, good. Yeah, it's not like a nineteen. I go back, say, hey, council in twenty eighteen approved me to spend eighteen funds. Once eighteen's over and the year's okay. closed out, right. you lost your chance. Yep. Okay, I just so that money just gets sucked back that. into that fund, and then now I have three thousand seven five. Yep. Does that Sounds, make sense? Okay, council, how's that sound? I think it's perfectly fine. All right. Now, planning on um, uh, that 20, 21, 22, we don't have a full time planner, which we'll talk about in 2019 operating budget. Um, uh, just keep in mind if we do bring on a full time planner, we might have to up our capital in 20, 21, 22 yeah. to facilitate that full time planner. Okay. Any questions on planning? Nope. Is good? Mr. Bridge, city okay. manager. Oh, yeah, I don't have anything on there in 2023. Didn't you just get a new laptop? Well, yeah, that's yeah. why there's nothing on there. Because like, the reason I asked for them at the money, extra money to buy the Mac because it's going to last. Oh, so yeah. That, that put it out five years to replace I it? I just put it on there because in 2023, if I need a new Mac for whatever reason, it's there. Again, you have one, two, three, four years to determine that. Okay. You're more than welcome to even take that off completely if council doesn't want it on there. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, it's not, it's not like we're going to spend it. Mr. Yeah. Cobb, what do you think about that? Are you okay with that? Yeah. Keeping it on there? Okay. <clears throat> so we're done with finance. Dale, control yourself. Don't get too excited. Dale's tired today. He had to deliver papers. Okay. Lands and buildings. Security. Okay. I have money allocated for security in 2018. I am looking into this. Me and Howie talked about this. What we are thinking about doing is getting what we what I call a two-tier system. And that is a combination of cameras that just record, perimeter and inside. We're looking at a six camera system. It's about $1,000 for the system. And what that does, it has a DVR attached to it. So 24 seven, it's recording. And if it goes back to 48 hours, you can have 48 hours or 64 hours. It keeps a database of all that on there. Then what I wanna do is get like a general, and it does have bells and whistles, the security system for the building. And that's gonna arm your doors, your glasses if it breaks, and you know motion sensors inside. The, what I'm looking for that is a, is a, is a thing called Abode, A-B-O-D-E. I have the security system in my house. It is a little more pricier than the other stuff you get, but it lasts. Securing a city building, it, the cheapest part is going to be <coughs> guarding the windows and the sensors. That is basically a central hub, a little thing that goes on your door, and we'll probably get glass break sensors. I will heavily arm where we keep our safe, clearly, that's common sense. But the bulk of that security purchase is going to be for the camera system that's going to go outside. Now, oh, that's all I had to say. Council, any questions? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Cobb. Oh, Mr. Cobb. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about sensor on the, in the office area and in the waiting area and all that too, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you still considering what we discussed about the box right there by the Yes. That way, because if a council member goes in to get his paperwork, they won't be able he's to go. gonna set that sensor off. He will. So what we what I've talked about with a council member before is if we have to arm that lobby, council members will not have access to their mailboxes anymore. Yeah. Because once you go into that main room, you're gonna set off the yeah. alarm. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're thinking about cutting out another hole where the drop not box drop box is with a key that has your mail slots in there. So you walk in that lobby, unlock the key, 
get to your respective mailbox and check the one lock. What's your guys' thoughts? My only concern about this is we don't own the building. You know, we we're, have every right to secure the building. I, I agree. I think we should. But I, mean, I think if we're doing all these updates to it and we leave, we're going to take all that stuff with us, right? If oh, we ever leave. Security safety. Take it. Take it with you. All right. We can move. All right. That's yeah. my only thing. Like, that's I'm just like we rent it. You know. Oh, I'm not I want to go through all these I'm upgrades. Not installing anything. Okay, good. I don't want to do all these upgrades and then find out. You know, hey, here, you no longer, we no longer want you here. Or, hey, we're gonna go do build it's this actually building. Actually, very, it's a that's a good good thing, so, thinking process. Be honest with you. Yeah. Because once you normally permanently install something, it's you there. have to keep it. Yeah. You have to even leave it there. But we'll just rip it out. And take it. All, all we're gonna it's hardwired to cameras, so the, all the wiring will be up in the through the okay drop ceiling, and it'd be a screw into the side of the wall. Okay, so it's, yeah, so it's so we unscrew it, pull the wire out, take the camera. Okay, then I think that's good. I'm not, I like the idea of if we're going to secure this, if we're going to put our little mailboxes in that room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's not secure now, yeah, you know. Well, my thing is now, and I hate to say it because we're all going to be on YouTube, but right now you go into that lobby, it's just a glass door. That's it. That's it. Somebody breaks that glass door, they're in. They're in. Yep. Yeah, I, I like the idea of security upgrades. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now that does probably include I need to get some film. It's going to be far cheaper for us to put a protective film on the glass wall that separates the citizens oh. and Angela versus going out and redoing that whole thing with ballistic glass. Okay. They make, 3M makes literally film you can put on the back of glass now to make it bulletproof, to make it kick in proof. And yeah, bullet resistant. And that's going to be way cheaper, than I said, than replacing that whole glass with ballistic glass. Yeah, do we have that in here? Do you know what the cost? It's, it's, it's not going to be twenty two hundred dollars, so it's not going to be. Oh, okay. That's what I was just wondering. All right. Yeah. Yep. So that's security hand tools are just basic uh, stuff. What? Yes, Mr. Lindsay. We're I'm still sorry. in security. <clears throat> Go ahead. <clears throat> and let's say changed laws, and I haven't kept up on them. Anytime you attach anything to a rental building, it is considered this is a commercial permanent. Lease. It's still rental. It would still fall, fall probably under the same laws and probably more so in the commercial. I already called and talked to the building owner, sir. Good. We're fine. We're allowed and to. And he call. decides to change his mind later. I'm just saying the law, as I remember it, if you attach anything, becomes permanent and then you cannot take it out. Well, what if we just get an email from him saying? Yeah. I think, if, I honestly, no disrespect, I think I, it's taken care of. It's not going to be an issue. Um, but I, you know, I mean, what do you want me to do? Not get security installed at the city building? And how would you like me to proceed? We've had this conversation before, and I don't think we should spend any money on somebody else's building. But if we can take it out with no problems in the future, mm -hmm. then yes, go ahead and, and do what, what you're talking about. But you have to make sure there's not going to be any problems in the future. You know, if they sell this building, the new owners will say, okay, everything here stays, and you can't remove anything, is what, is what I'm getting at. I, I don't think they will ever sell it because they didn't even know they had it, you know, what, two years ago uh, when, we, when you had no, called them about possibly us moving or the mm -hmm. city building moving, and they said, oh, we didn't even know about that. Remember? We, they'd forgot about it. They always forget about us up here. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So uh, I understand your concerns. I've already got it addressed. So um, if it comes down to it, we just won't install the security system. But at the same time, sir, this is no disrespect. I'd rather donate a thousand dollars security system to them for the fact that their employees are secure. Especially after the incidents we've had. Well, so, I mean, that's what I'm saying. If they come back and they say, "Hey, what you're leaving the security system," it peace of mind is priceless. Yeah, you but, know. Will they be like a panic button or something there for what's her name, Andrew? No, I haven't went to that far yet with it, to be honest with you. Because? Because that's like a dedicated phone line. It's it's, yeah. um, it's something I am going to look at. It will. Um, I just don't know how, how, that, how that even begins to start. Well, you have to have a real alarm system, first of all. Sure. So that's probably why. <laughs> a commercial and that, alarm and that, and that system that we're going to be getting, the abode system, has a panic button on it. Yeah. So she'll be able to hit that button. It's going to set the alarm off. Yeah. Okay. So I have one of my house. And who who gets this alarm then? Is it just in the building? Does it go to oh no, it's monitored. The... Yeah, no, it's monitored. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so it's off. got a monitoring station somewhere that no. Once that once the alarm goes off, how I have set my house, I think you have thirty seconds. Yep. And then if you don't disarm your alarm within thirty seconds, the company calls you, and then you have to give a code over the phone, 
So if you don't take, if that alarm company calls and you don't answer, they're calling the cops. Okay. Or you call them okay. and you give them the wrong code, like someone's got a, you know, someone's holding you up, they'll send someone. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm good with what sure. you're wanting to do. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at in the future and I'll have to research the law again, but I know at one time if you attached anything to a rental, the landlord can make you leave it. No, yeah, you're absolutely And there's correct. no recourse for you to do anything. You are and that's correct. putting a screw to anything. Sure. You know, uh, a little bitty Phillips head screwdriver or screw mm -hmm. to mount something and it, they own it. No, I, I, I think you nailed it right on the head, you are correct. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to get into, the, into a lawsuit over it, but Again, you said this is only, what, $1,000? Yeah. Well, I think it's a good idea. I think we need to keep it. And Mr. Lindsay, I'm sorry, but Mr. Well, Cobb, you need your five minutes, Mr. Cobb. <laughs> we got to protect a young lady down here behind the desk. Okay. After the one incident here this few months ago. I mean, that's the reason I had suggested putting the box there in the wall so council didn't have to go inside. We also discussed putting a lockdown cover there at that opening. Yeah. Where she can remove it to talk to the individual rather than put a uh, what they call microphone, it? microphone there. But all she has to do is quick unlatch it and slide it out of, out of the way. They can just screw that into the acrylic window, right? Like if they, we got something they can just screw in and move up and move down? Um, so you can screw into acrylic, right? Well, it has, no, to, it has to be you drilled can go into the crack or into that. Uh, the countertop yeah. with just a quick latch. Well, she has two holes. She has a one on the bottom and the one up top. Yeah. Or the middle one. One for documents, one for speaking. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what it is. But we can probably get something to go over the hole, like a, like a thing that lets the boys come in and out. The big thing is that... You can do a double acrylic, which is a spacer. It leaves a hole like this. You have your, your first hole, a spacer, and then a plexiglass cover over that, mm -hmm. where there's only that little space there. Still hear the voice back and forth, but you can't push anything through it. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. But also, to answer your question, just get it writing. Yeah, so oh, no, I will. Yeah, I'll gotcha. This way, everybody's okay. satisfied, okay. pacified. Mm -hmm. and sure, yeah, I don't have problem. Covers everybody's tail. Don't have a problem with that at all. all right, Probably yeah. the best thing to do, to be honest with you. Council, anything else? Because our luck is we'll do it and then we go to leave and like you never told us we're getting this. Right? Yeah. Nice. But, no, I got you. I understand. That's Someone a good point. Recommended that ten minutes ago. Yep. Mr. Bridge, parks. Uh, maybe we have else on hand hand tools oh. or upgrades on the city garage. City garage is it's, it's needed. It's it's needed. I just I yeah. It's it needs a new roof. I think we're all on that page. What about um I'm sorry, Mr. No, Mayor. go ahead. Go it ahead. feels like a work session, not a council meeting. <laughs> um what about the uh, the hut though? Is that fall under this, over by Smith Park? Yeah, that's under lands and buildings. Unless okay. we got it under streets, but I don't think we do. I don't think we have anything under streets. What what's your concerns with just how hut? ugly that place looks? Yeah, I'm right there with you. I mean, could we put just maybe a nice tall wood fence around it or something? <laughs> we'll only go up to eight feet, and it's not going to hide much. <laughs> it just looks horrible. It does. Yeah. Right. Somebody killed the corn. <laughs> it's like an eyesore in the park. <laughs> yeah, the corn's gone. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. Our old fire. I think Howie's got somebody some plans. Somebody transplanted it. If, if he does the big barn build out at the wastewater plant to move a lot of that stuff over there. Good. But I think what the hut's going to stay for storage. Can we just paint it like black or something so we can Why can't see you it? just go with a real tall fence? <laughs> can we go up to eight feet? You can't go any taller? No. You know what? After that comment, it needs to go up another 10. Right. <laughs> Dude, uh, you guys want to I got it, at least. Uh, that that happens, happens. And everyone in his family. He's got 10 feet taller. <laughs> at least my God. Fence, you know? Yeah. Can we no, do that? I got you. Really? You could change your code. I wouldn't recommend it, but it would be up to you. I was guys. just thinking. Yeah. No, no, I mean, it, it is. It's been on the back of, I think, everyone's minds sitting at the table probably in this room. Like, I'd like uh, to see a new building there, but that's entirely out of the question. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can't even, we don't even have our own city building. Right. So. Yeah, we yeah. need a city building for we <laughs> Yeah, maybe a, build a garage. Just a good coat of paint over it or something. Sure. I got you. Um, anything on city garage? Uh, I know we're good on that, right? All right, parks. Shelter house addition upgrade, that's still on there. We have money for 18. I don't know how council wants me to proceed on this because it seems that we talked about it last year and it kind of just died in the water. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Lowry. Yeah, didn't we? I thought we had allocated 15,000. No, there's still money in there for 18. 
Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So if we if we don't, and it's obviously we're getting pretty much to the end of it. But the, I think the last conversation at council was the debate between do we do the floor, do we do the addition, do we do an, uh, put the kitchenette in. So I don't. We never picked up that conversation. Yeah, that's true. And I'm not going to make that call. It's your guys' house essentially. So I don't <clears> know how you guys want to proceed with it. Well, if we if we my thoughts are if we if we I'm pretty sure we'd set aside fifteen thousand for this year. Yep. Didn't we? We did. And we didn't use it. And I know, and I, I was a big fan of, of adding on a small room to make like a side, because I thought putting the, the kitchenette in the same part of what's already there, it's going to look cluttered and tacky, yep. I thought. Take and space up. So, and I think how we got the quote from Ashball that it was like going to be like twenty to 25000 to add on. So, I mean, if you save the fifteen we used and then a fifteen, you know, next year, there well, you go. Well, another thing, we, yeah, then we can do, though, because they don't, don't, don't we have the floors done and stuff? Do we want them done? Al Aspal just quoted for the actual addition. Right. Yeah. So what about the floors? I don't think do we have one for the floors. No. I no, because so. I don't we, think we, we had did. The guy come out and give us a demonstration on the different types yeah. of yep. materials, but we, we no one but, ever made. But it Howie said he could. They could do it cheaper. I thought. In house. Right. In house. I thought Howie told us that. Oh, I could be if wrong. You, but if you do an epoxy floor. We're not doing it in house. Yeah. yeah. That's a specialized skill. The 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 company that that uh, came out and gave us the different types is the same company that did the uh, the floor in uh, five seventy one grill and that floor looks amazing. Yeah. It does. I mean, we saw money in eighteen, and eighteen's not over yet. And again, I think my recommendation is keep the eighteen money clearly because it's there. I would leave the nineteen money, and then because we can always take it out. We can always and with this remember this isn't the. Or budget. you can take it out now, and when we have another meeting on it, because we still got like three months left in eighteen. You know, but the thing about it is, is once this goes to resolution, we'll have to amend the resolution. We'll probably do it anyway. Well, that's probably. not going to be yeah, problem. So a problem. And we have a but, and this is just like an outline. It's yeah. not even, it's a wish list. I mean, mm -hmm. we actually have a budget where we're going to actually be allocating that 15 that we did have back and possibly more. Yeah. Because yeah. so. nothing happens if we don't spend any in 18, then that can be bumped up. Exactly. Right. Just roll it over. Roll it over. Like your rollover minutes in the 2000s. Mr. Coppins, questions. Mr. Mayor, are we, if we're going to do the, what do you call that little nook you want to? It's just a little. The addition. Addition Are we for a small about kitchen. about also put, have, put a deposit down on the shelter house and increase the rate for the rental? That wouldn't be here. That, that would be, be up to the, him, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, if I do any kind of rate increases, that goes back. Oh, really? Doesn't? No. Oh, yeah. Even know. with that yeah. that small? Really? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I mean. For I'm the sorry. shelter house, yes. I would put it in front of you guys. Absolutely. Mr. Cobb. Yeah, I mean. That wouldn't be for this I mean, that would help. Though. No. Pay for some of that. No, you're right. I mean, if we do some upgrades, because what I see, and I don't want to interrupt you by any means, we charge a deposit, but people still leave stuff on the walls. They still leave tape. They still leave streamers. Tax. You know? Yeah. So if we do any kind of upgrades, and it, the shelter house does need an upgrade. I mean, it is full. It does make us money. It make it never How? loses money. It, it, it doesn't. So I think I think... It needs to be done, but I'm right with you. I, I, I do agree. With I you. mean, what if what? they? If they, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. No, that, they, Mr. Cop, go ahead. They come in and, and we got a little stove, and they tear the stove up. We're out money. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know what kind of deposit you charge them, but that's not going to replace that stove 99% of the time. Well, insurance. Yeah. No, I think there should be some deposit. My fear with a big deposit, though, is could some we. Could people afford, afford it? Right. You know, well, if you I, do like a hundred or two hundred dollar deposit, oh. I'm not know, talking a thousand dollar yeah. deposit or anything like that. Right now, I think it's a twenty dollar deposit, but that's just for the key. Bump that's it, it. Bump it to something. You know, fifty, seventy-five. The thing about it is, you want to make it enough so people can afford it, but yet they want their money back. You know, does that make sense? But even with the hundred dollar deposit, if they tear something up. Now you know who tore it up, they can also be held liable for the yeah. damages to that. Sure. Um, part of that lands and building upgrade, too, is I want to ask you guys, <clears throat> should we secure the shelter house with cameras? Council meetings are in there. We have private parties in there, mm. but it's still public grounds, so how are people going to view? Mm. But at the same time, I mean, we have we, council meetings there. Well, we, well. This is there when we're at a council meeting. But it doesn't, it, it doesn't really record much. You know, it doesn't, it, I think we should, we should secure the perimeter. People coming in and out of that building. And there needs to be one. I think that one needs to be focused somewhere in that building. 
I think that people might not like the idea of like going to their shelter house having their birthdays, you know. Like, well, it's also proof if someone goes in there and breaks something. Well, we're gonna know who's gonna break it anyway. I mean, at least someone in that party. That party is responsible. Any hall, you, any hall yeah. you go into and read right nowadays for these kind of events, oh. there are cameras everywhere. Oh yeah. But, but when they sign, when they rent it though, they're sign they sign off on something, right? Yeah, but we don't have any proof. But they're the last ones that leave it. Yeah, but that's still that's not right. Maybe it could be the last person who's in there. They didn't. We didn't do a thorough check or something. Hmm. You know, the reason I'm saying that, if we're going to invest this kind of money, we need to have something set up to. Hmm. Uh, it's a it's a it's a, it's a tough situation. I would err on the side of security, and I would say, yeah, we're you are now recorded then. And the only time anyone's going to see that because if we do like the 48 hour DVR things of. Once two days passes, then we don't have access to your data anymore because it's already recorded over. That's how those things work. I feel <laughs> like every two or three days, it resets itself. So no, you, you were in there on Monday, and then Monday's, nothing happened, yeah. and then Thursday, someone That's comes fine. in. Now your Monday is being recorded over, and it's That's lost. It's right. never retrievable. Does that make sense? Right. So that's that's a discussion for you guys. Maybe all of council. The Not half. Ron was talking about a uh, stove or an oven. Well, that's just what Mayor like, Lowry had talked about, putting a little <clears throat> kitchenette in there with a stove, correct? I was thinking more of just a microwave, not well, an actual yeah, stove. I'm, I'm microwave, not about either way. You don't need a big 220 stove in yeah, there burning I'm, I'm something. I'm not about up. putting an oven in there or a stove. A sink? What about <clears> a, warming, a, holding, a warm holding center? No, they, can, uh, they, they have portable warming plates now that you can buy. I mean, when we was doing parties, I had a ton of them. But a microwave, yeah. uh, I'm not even a on fridge. board. I'm fridge, not even freezer, on board microwave. With refrigerator. Basically, yeah. nothing's I mean, going to burn down the place. Yeah, a microwave, something that it has a set timer, it's going to go off, you know. Mm -hmm. It is going to use a lot of electric. Uh, you know, if, if, if you want to, to put something in there, we had talked before about in the one corner putting like an L shape with. Some countertop and some outlets, mm -hmm. so they can plug their crock stuff in, stuff. crock sure. pots or whatnot. But as far as is uh, spending twenty five, thirty thousand dollars to add on to that building for a kitchen, I just can't see it. Just remember, this uh, isn't the budget. Right. This is just us saying, hey, well, this is what I, we're I gonna. Know, this is what we're looking I, at. I still can't see building on to the shelter. With with a kitchenette or what or a kitchen in there. It doesn't just have to be that. It could be sealing the floor. It could be up, uh, upgrading security. I mean, this is just fifteen grand. That's just a placeholder right now because we already have it allocated already. So what? So I I don't see why it's a debate about if it's going to be there or not. It's just fifteen grand that's mm -hmm. going to be there regardless at the at the end of our budgeting cycle this year and probably next year until we decide what we're going to do. And I don't think now's the time to discuss what we're going to do with it. I think now's time to say, hey, do we need 15 grand or do we need 20 grand or do we need two grand? You so. want to, because we have, I think we have 15 for this year. Yes, yeah. we do. Do you want to knock that down? I don't see why we would knock it down. We already have 15. I I'd just say we just roll I, it over. I say leave it. Okay, do you want to continue on the talk this year with the shelter house? I think now it's pretty much late. I mean, it's already booked up. I think no, but we can have the discussions and in, in, um, well, I'll have to look at the budget. We'll just keep on. And we need to have, um, like I said, this is all wish list. We don't even have the numbers in front of us yeah. in the budget. It's there. So if we want to discuss it. Yeah, okay. and I think when when we get to our budget talks in October, November, December, whenever it comes, then we address it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. So down. Are we? Can I may may I go on? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Playground equipment, bike trail exercise stops. I'm going to do that in one shot. Um, Bike trail exercise stops is something that I've always wanted to do along the bike path. Um, the playground equipment is we've always done past years upgrades, three years now at our parks. Um, I would like to do a small upgrade at maybe at the park behind Dollar General mm -hmm. because it hasn't been touched. It needs it. <laughs> um, so the kick into this is I just got word last night, late last night, that our fantastic community partner, L who got us all the grant money is, leaving. is taking another job. Mm -hmm. She's moving to North Carolina. So I don't know if they're going to refill her position. I don't know where she's from. But we got a lot, I know, we got a lot of money out of that Creating Healthy Grant community yeah. for me working with her. So um, I don't know, um, I don't know what's going to happen with that grant. 
So seven thousand five hundred would at least probably get us the new swings over there. Yeah. Um, that park hasn't been upgraded at all. If we're looking to slash between the playground equipment and bike exercise stops, I would ask that council really consider keeping the bike exercise stations because we've benefited our parks and I think we can do a lot more with benefit big fitting our adults and young kids who use that bike spot. Does anyone know what the exercise stops are on the bike traps? Yes. Bike trail. Mm -hmm. They're, they're in Troy. Oh, like, what is it? They're it, like, there's this little, if you want to take it. Yeah, it's literally just tip, and the one in Troy's wood, but I'm assuming our would be metal because theirs is pretty old. So they're like little push up bars and stretching stations. And that, yeah. And that yeah. basically what was in Brubaker Park 15, 20 years ago? Yeah, but they were all wood. And I think those just got destroyed by kids. Yeah. And it wasn't on a bike path. Right. And that, that was off, like, down into the woods, like, near the woods. They uh, have chess few, tables down there still. I have asked me what we're going to do to upgrade our bike path. And a couple of them asked me about specific bike trail stops because they are very common and very popular. Cloud Park has them, and they're all they're our metal. They are all okay. metal. And they are used quite a bit. <laughs> Not only by adults, but like high school kids. Cross country. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they use it quite a bit. Sure. Yeah. Mr. Cop. What we're discussing here with the the park up here behind what behind New Carlisle. Uh, Park. Yeah. Yep. And the exercise down there on the bike path. Couldn't some of that money come out of Parks and Rec? Parks and Rec is under the general fund. That's that's what this fund is coming out of. If you it is park fund money. Okay. Yeah. So I think he's talking about the money we allocated for the committee, the board. Oh, that? Oh, that. I don't. That, you what? That's, that's, I'm not going to mill that. That's a budgetary <laughs> talk. You're talking about what's coming out of the board, the parks. Yeah, the board. parks and rec board still has $10,000 left in it for this. Yeah, but I say, shouldn't it, some of this stuff come out of that since this is under parks and rec? Well, I don't think the parks and rec board, that money allocated was not for equipment. That was for them to do programs. And that stuff was like for that. programs in the park. For like programs, like, you know, um, Easter egg hunts or no sir that was also to do they wanted to paint the one shelter house or the one well, well that's fine but the fine but that the paint those those are not considered capital expenses <laughs> these are considered capital expenses painting the shelter house or painting a flower pot is not a capital expense these are capital purchases so that's that's the difference that we all need to we need to focus on and that's that's more budgetary related than yeah you know, so but um, even at the cap, you look at our parks and rec budget now, under capital, we have playground equipment, stuff like that. If the parks and rec were going to use money out of that 10000 for to buy playground equipment, then it's in the wrong line item. It was my understanding it was strictly for programs and stuff like that, not, not equipment purchases. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Did you have something about this? Yeah, just my yeah. two cents on it. Thank you. Um, I mean, I see the... The, I guess need for the bike trail stops. Well, I say want, not need. I don't think it's necessarily needed because the bike trail on its own looks gorgeous. New Carlisle Park looks horrible. I mean, it's an embarrassment in my opinion. I would rather see more money. Um, but it's about the use. More people will get use out of the bike trail stops than through Baker than the Carlisle Park. I understand, but people but people drive by New Carlisle Park and it's a huge eyesore. Just, their own. Yeah, I think, I mean, we painted it last two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it looks. I think, I think we can use more. We can use more. Yeah, more right, because I, mean, yeah. I haven't been by it in a while. Doesn't it have like an old basketball court? With yeah, rust, we went up rust, there. Rusty. Yeah. Well, no, it's painted. Stuff. Well, we paint, painted. The only thing we don't have is uh, a net for it, which maybe we It does change. need upgrades. I mean, I'm not going to sit down. I mean, it, it was so bad, Not no lie, that when you walked in, you literally would see. Uh, you couldn't see actually a old like monkey bar set that was mm -hmm. off on the left side. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. It was against that brown fence. It was so rusted yeah, you couldn't see it. So we there. painted it green oh, so it would stick out. Mm -hmm. So in the cement at the uh, basketball court is needs to be replaced. In my opinion. Yeah. Hey, I you, mean it. We did a lot of work. Yeah, but, but I mean we couldn't more. replace it. But because that that cost a few thousand, but it needs to be dug up and completely replaced. In my book, in my book. It's cracked and off. You know, it's off. Set and stuff. Don't you guys want to disperse your money though in your parks? I mean, you you focus a lot of money the past two three years on strictly your parks. Your your bike trail was built for no expense to the city, off 100% federal funds. You can upgrade it for less than thirty thousand dollars and make it that more inviting. I would I would suggest that maybe. Um, 
I don't know. Like I said, it's just a draft. But um, I've had adults ask me for these. I've had people. How much are these exercises? Depends on which ones you get. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like you, one stop could be two thousand dollars. The other stop could be another four. I'm, I'm, depending on what what they do. Realistically, how many would we have on a size of our trail? In Troy, there's pretty long because it goes all the way down the riverbank uh, and then over into the uh, golf course, and then back down. They probably only have seven or eight of those things. So uh, and I would, and that's a, and that's a long. Like, I don't know how many um, Thomas Cloud Park has. I wouldn't go past like down by the water plant. I wouldn't put now by that. Well, I might put one or two behind the water plant, a wastewater plant, right before you get to that bridge. Uh, but the primary focus would be from Lake to the actual Smith Park, and yeah. then maybe, you know, through through Smith Park a little bit. So, I would like to see a. Uh, Disc golf course, personally. What? A disc golf course? <laughs> Super popular. Never heard of. Really? Uh, Never heard of frisbee golf? Yeah. Frisbee golf? Very popular. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 that's that's something I've always. You know how to throw a frisbee? Yes, I know how to throw a frisbee. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I, know it's, how to it's, throw I like, I personally like that, golf. but I would accept. <laughs> I mean, so how much, all right, let's get down to the brass tacks. How much money do we want in there? Do we, do we want to keep all the money in there for, like, trail exercise stops? Or do we want to cut it? Do we want to? What do we want to do with it, Mr. Cobb? Well, Mr. Larry, we'll start with you. Okay, I would. I would be. I would feel better just making it even, ten ten. Ten ten. Okay. Council. Just my personal thought. Yeah. I mean, because, I mean, I and I see your point, but I also think that park is, you know, it, like you said, it needs some updates. And ten and ten micro park. Could we combo that with some grant money? Okay. So ten grand each year. Remember, this is just a wish list. I think 10 is fine. I mean, for both? Yeah. Just 10 and 10, even it out. Mr. Yeah, Lindsay? Mr. Cobb. Mr. Cobb. Well, I mean, it's fine what you want to do, but I'm concerned about vandalism down through the bike path. We're, we're going to get that anywhere, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you when you first discussed about putting the, the bike repair down there halfway through there and then you found out through the others where there's been a lot of vandalism to it i moved it simply because council members wanted me to move it if there was no discussion on where that was going to go it would be back there by that shelter house but i graciously moved it because some council members did not want it back in that room vandalism is going to occur i mean i, I understand your point and i agree with you but it's a risk you take for anything you have and i don't think that we should derail upgrading our, our recreational facilities because we're scared someone's going to spray paint. Well, I can't see putting money in there and see it throw them away and vandalize it. No. Well, everything gets vandalized. I mean, look, Mike and I live in a residential area at Willow Lake Park when we first got it less than three weeks in. Better yet, it wasn't even yet officially open. And you guys remember the, the cigarette burns on the slides that we oh, had yeah. to work on? Yeah. And that was in 2003. Yeah, I mean that was less that that was before it was open. So I, I it, vandalism is going to happen anywhere, and these things are going to be sturdy metal. They're not going to be the wood ones, right? No, they're, okay. They're, yeah, we'll so we're not going to do with the ones at Brubaker Park, where over time they've rusted or they've right. warped, and then kids kick through them and break yeah. them and all sorts of otherness. Yep. Yeah, I think I think ten's good, Mr. Lindsay. Yeah, I'd be good with ten, but it, again, he said it. it Depends on how, how many pieces you want to put down through there, uh, say, in next year. I have to price it out. I don't know. Yeah. Remember, this is just budget. This is not budgeting. This is just looking well, at potential. We can change it in the budget when it comes to it, correct? Yes. So then I see no reason to change this from, to drop it by 5000 and I just leave it at fifteen. Until we know what it's going to cost. Yeah. I mean, that would be. Well, that's another thing. I mean, sometimes you just got to take my word. I can't sit there and research every little thing that we have to go and buy. Yeah. I mean, that's just, it's not, it's, I, it's, I physically cannot do that. So I'm not going to sit there every single buy. I can't go and get four or five prices for every, every little thing that we buy. Well, I didn't you know, say These will good. be purchased probably through the same people who we get our program <clears throat> from because we get discounts from them. Kids, kids play. Uh, kids, uh, da, da, da. play, play world, play world, kids, yeah, play world, kids. Yeah, yeah, play world kids. Mistakes, you know. Yep. So, you know, um, 
I, I looked at I, It's not like I've looked at them. around, depending on what you want. The cheapest one I saw was like $2,000. I go up to $4,000. It depends on what you want. Some are very interactive and some are just basically you stand up, you sit down, you stand up, you sit down, you move on to the next spot. Some are more interactive. So it's depending on what you want at that particular mm -hmm. stop. So for 15000 theoretically, you could buy four pieces. I, I'm not going to answer that. Well, I, I mean, that's three at 4000 and one at 2000 Well, that's just the base price. Then I got labor right. that comes into play. I got cement I got to buy, so that four may now, to now be three because I only can afford three once I get up to hand cement and okay. all that stuff. Yeah. So I'm okay with 10 and 10 because I think that, honestly, if you want to have a really good look at it, it allocates more money in the Carlisle, which Councilman Lowry nailed it right on the head. It needs some updates. We all agree to that. If we go to 10 and say we get just three of those spots or two, it's going to give us a good gauge of how the citizens are going to react to them. And use them. And use them. Yep. And if they're very popular, then in 2020, we can get a few more. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'd be good at the 10, then. Okay. But the reason I want the bike pass is because we've updated our parks and we've been so good at it. But we got adults here, too, that like to have fun. we got plenty of people that use that bike path. Mm -hmm. Plenty of people use that bike path. That's true. <clears throat> and it's an asset to the city that cost us next, next to nothing to put in. So, right. so 10 10 or a 7 5 and 15? 10 10. 10 10 10 10. Okay. Mower? It's a mower. <laughs> Didn't we just buy one? I think there was one. I don't, I don't think so. No. I thought we bought one either first this year or last year. It might have been for a different apartment. You can't use them in more than just one department? Well, different people have different, like, water has to cut, cut their grass, wastewater has to cut their grass, cemetery has to cut their grass, then we got to cut the parks and the right of way. So, yeah, every department needs their own mower. Because it's actually illegal to have the water department buy a mower and have wastewater use it. Yep. Now, do we have a mower do it like currently? That. Yeah, there's a mower. Okay. It probably just needs to be replaced. How old is that mower? Yep. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Well, that like I said, that's something we can talk about when it gets there. Yeah. That, a mower, how much does a mower run? You know? The zero turns? Yeah. They're not cheap. Yeah, so like, that would have to come before us, most, most likely, right? No, it's not going to be over 20000 Okay, it's not going to be over $20,000. Okay. No. You could probably get it, maybe two of them for the 12 couldn't you? No, that's what do you buy? You buy the, world. you buy the commar commercial mowers. So yeah, the commercial zero turns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Because the, the commercial zero I bought was forty five hundred. Okay. So For your little yard? No, I was cutting some acreage with it before I. How long ago was that? Huh? How long ago was that? Uh, it's uh, five years old now. I bought it up the road here. You still got it? Yeah. Does it run? Yeah. Do you want to sell it? Just <laughs> <laughs> joking. <laughs> Back my mind. Thank you so much. You got six thousand? No. Oh, so I'm not paying. You just sold forty five hundred for it. All right, so mower is good. All right, and this is just the graph, right? So we don't need these two pages. Yeah, the next no, two. I like my graph. I know you do. Waste of, waste of paper. In no, there. it's not. No, it's not. Graphs are graphs. All right, police. Okay, um, equipment <laughs> upgrades fifteen thousand. Um, we don't have anything other than that. Um, we normally don't go close high to fifteen thousand. I just put a little extra in there because I didn't. I don't know what's coming up that they're going to need. If you guys mm -hmm. want to slash it down, you can. If not, then they just won't use it all. Um, 2020, I know the levy's up again, so I'm assuming we're going to push for that in 2019 to get it on the ballots. Yeah, I would, okay. I would assume we'd have to because if it fails, we might want another yeah, shot at it. Shot at it. Losing so it completely. 20, I have a new police cruiser because I will outfit the four new ones that we have. So if you guys want to move that back to 2021, however you want to do it. I, I would rather, if I may. Go ahead. I'd rather move that cruiser to, to next year. Okay, last just, year, last just year we had in a discussion. Case, just in case it don't pass in 20. Right. And then we can sell a brand new cruiser for half the money. No, there that's, you go. That, that's not smart. <laughs> no. This is the reason why I have it the way it is. And if it needs yeah, to be moved, I, it needs to be moved back. Because right. we don't know if that levy is going to pass. Exactly. We need a whole new fleet, in my opinion, ready to go. If this fails, you know, we might need those cars. Well, the way I look at it is we have three new ones now. And people love the other car we have as a Charger. They don't want to lose the Charger. We're the, fine on cars right now. What year is that Charger, do you know? Maybe 08, 08 or the 10 one. It's about ready to go anyhow. You know? Well, here's the deal. I mean, you can, um, it's, it's up to you guys. But as we discussed last year in the CIP, it was we're going to hold off to buy any new, we're done buying vehicles until we know if the levy's going to pass or fail. Because the moment we buy a new vehicle and that levy fails, 
we're going down to one comp. Yeah. And now we have all these new cars that we can't sell for market value. Then yeah. we just mismanage public funds. Because mm. the other thing we can do, if it does pass, we can we can amend the CIP. As soon as this levy passes in 2020, you can amend. It. Well, if it pass, it's up for a vote in 2020. It, it it's gone at the end of 2020. We won't have it if it doesn't pass. So typically, you try to put it on like November of 19. If it passes, then you got it from the next for that 2020 plus five more years after that. Or another thing, you guys can move it up and, and if you want to buy at 19, that's up to you guys. I just don't think it's very. Because I don't think it's fiscally responsible. Let's say 2019, if the levy were to fail, then we would probably have to push back to 2021 because we'd have one more shot in tw well two more shots in 2020 right and if it passes in 2020 at point time now we're set to buy the vehicle yeah as soon as it passes so that's up to you guys it's it's really no concern to me i just i don't want to get in the business of having all four new police vehicles and then the thing fails and now we have to get rid of we wouldn't sell them right away we would try to pass the levy again yeah mm. you know so it's like a double-edged sword it truly is i mean it well, can go it can go either way. I would like to say that we, you know, before the levy's up, like, hey, this is what we did. This is what the money was spent for. We you know, what, another cops. thing to this too is put in nineteen, because that's going to show the people that we're hey, we're still working for. And you that's what I think. Like, so I think you it's know? good to be like, hey, look, we're still, you still need this money. We still have. We can put it there and just wait to the, and not buy it if we have to, in nineteen. Buy it there. And is this on YouTube? Because I don't get yelled at in nineteen when I buy new police cruiser. Well, I mean, if if now if if we put it in nineteen, the charger breaks down. Then we're going to have to buy one. That's a good point. So, just move and, it, and the move charger, it. the charger I is. I think it's up to the rest of the council. Is, uh, what do you think? What? You said an eight? Eight to ten. We don't know. It's either eight or ten. I can't remember. I Which thought one I, blew up for Moorhead? Was that the ten charger? That was, <laughs> that was, that was, that that was the ten. That, that was the one we just that bought. Is, that is the one we still have. <laughs> okay. The well, then. Oh, really? That one? You know, that, that, oh, that, could go at any, that could go at any moment then. But but I would I would based on I didn't think of it like that. That's a good point. Move it to nineteen because if something does happen, we have the money. We have the money that allocated to do it. We don't have to do anything. I got you on that. Okay. Before we do that, we got to ask the rest of council opinion. Mr. Lowry, you got opinion on this one? Honestly, I'm fifty fifty on it. I mean, if you guys want to move to nineteen, I'm fine with that. If you want to leave it in twenty, it's fine. I mean, because I can see benefits to it both ways. Yeah. It's hard. So, Mr. Cobb. Well, I can't see buying a cruiser and then the levy don't pass. Uh, but, you don't buy a cruiser, but we don't have save. to. Yeah. It's just there. Yeah, we, yeah, it, it, yeah, we don't have to. It's not that we're guaranteed we're going to spend it. It's, it's just, just there. Just money's like, there. Just like the shelter house. Like, we all have rainy day funds. Like, if we all loot, if we lose our jobs, we have money yep. set aside. What? <laughs> you know? <laughs> to, uh... <laughs> To, to carry us on until we get a new one, hopefully. Can I see your gavel for a second? The, the, reason, okay. the reason I think we should should move it to 19 is if that charger Poops. blows, if, it, if they're on a run or whatever and it just disintegrates, Oops. <laughs> then we have the money already allocated to replace that yeah. car with. I'm tired. I got go to Michigan in the morning. And I assume we're paying cash for it. We're not doing no financing correctly. Okay. So, and the forty-two thousand is that buying the car and equipment? Mm -hmm. No, nope. equipment's a line item below. Yeah, that's the next one. And I did up it because they're usually oh, about right. forty-two, but I didn't know what the news price is going to be. So I know every couple of years they come out with a new model. Yeah. And we've got the last. We've got what we got? The fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I don't know what the eighteens would look. Well, no, because it'd be, so you know, this, we have 16, 17, and 18. Yeah, so this would give us a 19, and then if the levy passes, then we can get rid of the oldest. I thought how I was saying, though, it's you want to separate them a couple years. Yeah. Because you don't want, like, all these, because. You don't it, want them all breaking down at one time. Yeah, isn't like the, if a 15 and 16 might have the same motor in it, but oh. like 6 to 17, they may change that motor mm -hmm. a little bit. I, I don't know. Cars confuse me when it comes to the mechanics of it. I hire somebody to you know, change my model. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I think, I think it's, like, it's, it's probably smart to move it to 19, to be honest with you. You don't have to spend it if it's there, charger breaks down. And then we know, it, it's good well, then go. we really know the fate of the levy by that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if the levy doesn't pass, then we just don't. Because we, we can, we, I mean, if the, if the charger breaks down in, you know, February of 2019, we're going to need a new car. Yep. Regardless if that levy fails, because we still have an obligation to provide four, the for the four police cruisers until the exp expiration of that five-year deal. So if that car breaks down in February, we're going to need that car anyway. Yeah. So whereas if we know it's going to pass in 19, either you can go ahead and do it or you can wait to 20. I mean, you have a lot more wiggle room after that. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. So it's going to be bouncing both back. 
Yeah. Oh, no, so, I can't. Mine's still sitting in the garage. <laughs> I don't have time to work on it. So the question is, is do, do we down the 15,000 equipment upgrades if we're moving the cop to police cruiser over there? No, I think it just stays there just in case. Okay. Um, the reason I put 10,000 in 2020 is because of the upfront capital in with the, with the car. So if we move that to 19, do you want to up the 2020 equipment to 15 or keep it at 10? The equipment um, for 2020. If you, if you buy new equipment in 19, if we have to buy a car. No, this is equipment upgrades for like their um, vest and Safety. stuff like that. Uh, that yeah. The equipment grade, those equi that top line equipment upgrade has okay. nothing to do with the vehicle. Well, that would, that would depend on the age of the vest now. I just say we keep it at 15. Keep it. So we're moving the four, the everything for the cruiser to 19. Just move, bump it up a year, yeah. And then keep everything else the same. Yep. Simple enough. Is everyone okay with that? Yep. Yep. Well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, on the streets. I think Howie's mentioned a couple times before we need a bucket truck. No, once or twice, I think. A bucket. Any discussion on streets with the 19, any, any, any of it really? On 19, no. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Uh, Lowry. Uh, the, tr the pickup truck in 2021. Okay. I know there's some really, uh, just, we just got into, I mentioned this not long ago. Some of the, the trucks are god awful. We can't bump that up to 2020. Ooh, um, streets are suffering right now. Uh, council took away the, the, uh, the um, franchise fee mm -hmm. and uh, starting to feel a bunch, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Um, the reason it's there is because that's when the new, new waste contract will be negotiated. Oh, and so I will heavily, uh, wish I will waste. heavily wish that council would initiate some sort of franchise fee or some other ways to increase our bottom line in the streets because the streets funded through certain things and uh franchise fees is one of them and um it's getting real real thin yeah. which i warned council this was a totally different council it wasn't this council who took away the franchise fee i was very vocal about that and what would happen with the streamline but they did vote to take it away so that was about seventy thousand. now history said with the count with the administration <laughs> that it was never going to where it needed to go mm -hmm. it did when i took over we put it in there for maybe a year one, one year, year once we, we realized went back one year on, instead of the three and it helped out that one year yep. drastically some of the things i'm looking at with the, and i don't want to get too far in this conversation because we're not there with the trash contract yet but there's other ways that we can increase right. what we get without having burden our citizens a lot with this new software upgrade we're doing uh, we didn't upgrade the utility side yet because I was waiting a year or two for the trash contract to come out, but we can actually do our in-house billing with trash. And what that does is, um, um, since waste management, whoever the, whoever it is we're with at that time, since they're not taking on that financial burden, their rates are cheaper. cheaper. And what awesome. we do is we just add it to the water bill. I would recommend us probably going to quarterly billing at that point in time, if possible, um, or you can do a monthly charge like we still do it now. So just be... But instead of, yeah, we, we bring the billing in-house. That's how they do it in Bellbrook. I pay like 13 bucks a month for trash because they do the billing with our water bills. And a lot of cities do that because what it does, again, it takes away the financial burden from them. Yeah, so if, if, they're, if we're kicking it back to us and it's only, you know, it's saving the citizens nine bucks on their bill or whatnot, it's deficit neutral. They're still saving money. So, yes, I see the need because you're right. But the streets don't have any money. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, the general fund can make a transfer. And buy it if it needed, but the general fund. I mean, we gotta. I would like to see how that plateaus out because we've had some law expenses and we've had some other big expenses come out this year mm -hmm. that I don't. I, I I'm I'm anxious to see how we close the year. Okay. Let's transfer more money. In. You know. But you're right. I mean, they no, they are there in our last leg with those with those things. Mm -hmm. um, so we can move it up to like 19 or 20, but it may just have to move back once we get to the operating budget. We live there for now, it's fine. Okay, will you note that on your paper? Or I'll note it too, that let's talk about it because when we do the operating budget, if if the street's got some money left over and the general fund only has to transfer maybe $10,000 in there, which is, you know, it's a lot of money, but it's a lot easier to swallow than 30, then it might be time for us to jump on that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Especially why, why the money's there. Yeah. yeah. Cash and get it done. I agree. Talk. With so a bucket truck only costs five grand. 
That might be split out against a few different. Okay, uh, I was like, right. I was like, no, wow. No, I was no, like, no, no, no. <laughs> he, he he plans on financing it. That's what that's what it is right now. If you do descriptions, replace current book of 2019 bank finance repaid by general fund, cost spread over four to five years. So that's a discussion we'll have to have later on. Yeah. Uh, the chief's area. Chief, come on up, buddy. Have a seat. You could have been sitting here the entire time, man. Chief's come on. good where he is if he wants to stay there. <laughs> Okay, Chief. Uh, Chief, you want to take it? Let uh, me do it. Go ahead, you gotta go ahead, because I was looking at some other numbers here that we may need okay. to change. Um, 2019, um, I know that a few council members will probably know a lot about what this is. So 20,000 for new turnout gear, 8,000 for radio upgrades, 15,000 for uh, fire hose and hand line nozzles. Any discussion? Council Mr. Minister Lowry. Lindsay, Lord, these L's get me every time. Uh, I'm, I'm just like, saying. I'm <laughs> <Cook. laughs> <laughs> <I'm laughs> Cobb and Cook. Yeah. Oh God, I, oh, I no. know them. Low. I could. I know who they are. It never fails. You I call, literally had to think. You call every Lowry, time. I know. Lowry like four times in one week. I literally every time. It's just the L's get me. I, I'm right here with you. <clears> All right, go ahead. You guys can discuss it. I, I uh, it's really not my wheelhouse. Looking at the fire, uh, I have no problem with anything that's on this, with the exception of, if I'm not mistaken, Chief, you told us one time, uh, the reason I'm asking him instead of you no, is sure, I'm sure he'll know. Sure. Uh, and, you, and you may not remember. Uh, didn't you say we needed to get a new frontline pumper uh, like yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Prioritizing what we need in the department, okay? day-to-day uh, -day operations running running the department that engine out there maintenance cost versus needing that engine our maintenance cost on that engine right now is not hurting us um, where bunker gear turnout gear our next year of turnaround of what we're going to lose a large number of bunker uh, sets that we have in stock right now or that are on firefighters backs right now is 2019 mm. they'll drop it that they'll hit their their 10-year expiration mark and um, as far as apparatus, the first thing that needs to be looked at being involved is a pneumatic. Well, that's under EMS. Right. Correct. But it's, yeah, but it's still. Yeah. Well, he's here. He might as well talk about it all. Well, yeah. I have no yeah. problem with your because, EMS because either. We're not, for, we're not in, a, we're not in a budget frame or financial up. frame unless we get a grant to where we're going to be able to buy an engine or a, a medic outright. We're going to have to finance it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if we're, if we're looking at having to finance a piece of apparatus, we're going to have to look at a medic first because I still got year and a half, year and a half, almost two years left until that truck's paid off. Oh, the ladder truck. Right. Yeah. And our ideal is to let that truck go until it's paid for, and then we're already used to putting that money every year for that truck, roll that over into putting in for a new engine, Yeah. a new, uh, new pumper. Um, but as far as doing any type of apparatus purchase, uh, we put in for the grants every year, and like I've said before, grants are like a dartboard, and you hope you get hit. Um, but looking at bunker gear, it's a necessity because of 19 being the, the next drop-off year. Our hose has a 20-year expiration date, and instead of waiting till all of our hose hits that expiration date, we need to purchase it now. So many sections this year, so many sections next year. I've already spoken with Elizabeth Township about going in on a joint buy of hose. That way, if we buy more, we get a better buy, better price, and they are more than willing to do that with us. Uh, so that you know that another uh, cost savings there. Um, but no, as far as the engine, yeah, I agree. I'd love to buy a new engine this year. Isn't the engine? A, didn't you say uh, at one point? It's at a 20-year mark. Aged out. It's aging it, out. It is aging out right now at 20-year mark. It is not a require. It's. It depends on how you read the NFPA code. You can it, it, read. You know, if an NFPA, it's just like any other code. You can you can read it how you want to read it to sound. Uh, I could I could read the NFPA code on a fire engine. Say at 20 years, that fire engine no longer sh should be as a frontline pumper. It should be only used as a reserve pumper. But it's not a code. It's not in the code. It does not say shall. It says recommendation. Okay. Okay. 
Well, that one word makes a lot of yes, it does. huge, huge impact. Yes, it does. But, you know, and granted, an engine in New Carlisle that's 20 years old versus an engine that's in the city of Dayton yeah. that's 20 years old that's running t maybe two or three fires a day, big difference. Yep. Yeah. You know, we had to look at what our department really is. Our department, to be honest with you, our department is an EMS department that fights a fire once in a while. Yeah. And that's really being honest. But on the same hand with that, the past two years, we've really dedicated more on the EMS side of the house of getting the new life pack, getting the Lucas tool, that type of thing. It's time to start looking at the fire side of the house. New hose, new nozzles, um, new equipment, upgrading the equipment that's on the engines right now. Uh, just like we were talking about earlier, I brought an, uh, one of our vendors dropped off a new fan for us to look at the, uh, to purchase. Um, the tools and equipment, the technology of them is just like anything else. You can buy a nozzle that has a ball valve and opens and closes and that's all it does. And for us, that's all we need. We don't need the nozzle that has all the little springs that you, every time you use it, you have to take it back to the station and to completely disassemble it and clean it and put it back together. We don't need that. Yeah, it would be nice to have, but we don't need it. And that's what we're looking at. We're looking at purchasing the things that we need. Bunker gear is a non-questionable item. I can't, that where in the code it stays there, it shall be yeah. taken out of service in 10 years. Now, those are what, about five grand a set? Or, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it takes, it, well, right now it takes me $3,000 to outfit a firefighter. 3000 a set, okay. Now, but as of this year, it's going to, once they change the hood recommendations, that the cost is going to go up. The gloves are going to go up because now I'm going to, instead of having to have a just a straight fire hood on somebody, I have to have a cancer retardant hood. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. How, how much do you think that's going to go up? The uh, hoods are going to go up from anywhere from $65, $75 up to over 100 almost $200 a piece. So you're looking at maybe $3,500 right. total? Right. Yeah. But now, Mr. Cobb had a question. Go ahead. Well, what Chief Trust is saying, I got to agree with, because if I go back when I was on here with Fred Grill and all of them, we was known as the garage sale department. We bought an old engine from City of Dayton for $4,000. We bought an engine out of New York City for $4,000. Turnout gear had orange, green, yellow, red. I think a couple of them even had the pink, pink reflective tape. And now you can't do that. And turnout gear is not cheap, and I got to agree with him. And and again, you know, and just with turnout gear, we always look for ways to get you know, just like I put in this year for the hood and glove grant through the workman's comp, because workman's comp, I was discussing with uh, Randy, workman's comp has really came up and stepped up to this to the cancer causing agents and stuff for firefighters. Right now, if a firefighter makes a claim against any department or any city. For, uh, that they develop cancer due to being in the fire department, workman's comp will not fight the claim. They'll award the claim. No. Well, I think you're the professional in this, and the, I think this needs this stuff makes uh, sense to me, and that's my opinion. Like, but also, you're not buying tailor fit gear. You're buying. I'm buying stock gear. The past two years, I've bought stock gear instead of tailor fit gear. Big difference in that is a lot of money. Yeah. Um, because plain and simple, guy walks in the door today that I'm going to hire. I'm not sending him down to Phoenix to get tailor fitted gear. He's going to wear what's in the stock in the, in the gear room. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and it saves a lot of money. I've bought two years, bought the stock gear, and so we've had it in service for two years. I'm wearing the set myself, and have not had a problem with it. The only difference is it doesn't may, may not fit your curves perfectly, but I really don't care about that when you're crawling through yeah. a building. It yeah, you want a little, you back. want a little room to maneuver. You know, so um, and I wore Chiefs gear. I was just fine. And so yeah, it it saves us money there also. Yeah, I think this is pretty much standard boilerplate stuff for me. I trust you in your opinion and. The only thing we, we have discussed, um, me and Mr. Bridges discussed also as far as buying, purchasing the medic, possibly pushing it back to 2020 instead of 2019. That has to be changed now, doesn't it? Um, it should. It should Move be it changed up. now. You want to go let them know now? I received. Moving it to when? Uh, 19? Mm -hmm. To 19. The reason being awesome. is I received word probably 30 minutes before the meeting that we did not get, we did not receive the medic grant and we did not receive the bunker gear grant. Uh, bummer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. The only grant so far that we will receive this year is the one that we've already received from the uh, State EMS Board, 
uh, which is a reimbursable grant, and we will also receive the hood and glove grant from the workman's comp, because that was basically a no-brainer. Put in for it, you get it. Yeah. Um, the only problem with that one also, too, since everybody in the United States put in for it, we have to wait for it to fall. Um, but we will get that one. Uh, but we so did, I lose my rider's miles? No, no, we'll still, we'll still get you. Yeah. Uh, so, um, and, and again, with the, with the medic. Um, so we're moving it up a year, though, right? Right, 19. Or are we just so, adding money to 2019? No, we're buying it in 2019, right? Buy it. No, buy you're, it. you're going to buy it. That's it. We really, that's what I'm saying. We're not going to yeah, buy it in-house. Well, fine, buying. Also, we're going to get it now, too. But then you quote is like about 30 down, and then there are 30 yeah, months. Yeah, right. That's security or New Carlisle Federal? Uh, security. Security. Okay. Um, but also, too, with that, say that we're going to purchase this medic. Say we start today that we're going to purchase a medic. We're anywhere from six months to nine months before delivery of that medic. Yeah. That quick? And, um, <laughs> yeah, anymore it is. Unless the only way it would be quicker is if we bought a demo medic, which I do not want yeah. to buy. Yeah. Uh, they bought a demo medic here before. And that thing is, that medic out there at Frontline Medic is, is nickel and diamond us to death. Um, since I've been chief, we put we put eight new airbags on the on the back end of it. So that one will be going with replacement of a new one. That will yeah that one no that will go to a reserve medic. That's a demo. My big master plan with this is moving that medic to the reserve medic, taking our reserve medic forward now, selling it. I've already have a department that's interested in buying it before for a reserve medic Pike Township. Mm -hmm. Uh, then selling them that medic and then using that money that we that we make off of that reserve medic rolling it over to buy a new uh, to replace the battalion vehicle a question so the Dodge medic is the one that the airbags keep getting replaced in mm -hmm. that was a demo medic if I'm not mistaken it was yeah. oh, is that the one they refinance the balloon payment on no that's no, the truck that's the truck oh, oh yeah that's you're the right. truck. The, that medics paid for no wait a minute no, no I'm sorry I misspoke the medic was not the demo. The truck was the yeah. That's what I, okay. I knew. The engine was the, the demo. The truck was the demo. <laughs> okay, but Whew. the problem. I was like, whoa, we all got to something else. The problem with that medic is every, when you that go to open the back right? doors. Kim. Good. Uh, when you open the back doors, the back end drops down. Yeah. They let the cot in and out quicker or easier. Um, it's an airbag system which they don't use anymore, uh, and it's it's one of those things that Horton won't take the responsibility for it. Dodge won't take the responsibility for it. Of whose design flaw it is, but you're, you could be driving down the road, I've been in the back of the medic when it happened, all of a sudden it sounds like a, a shotgun blast going off, wow. or that you blew a tire, and what it is is one of the bags blow. We got to the point where we bought extra bags and we store them here in the station, and uh, Lieutenant Adamson replaces them. He can have one on and off and done in about two hours. Well, <laughs> I'm cool with getting the, new, the medic now and financing it, I think that's right. obviously needed. Uh, and like I said, like you're the ones that are doing this, Mike and I, Bill or Ron are out there running around doing this thing and saving people's lives and getting them in and out of this stuff. I'm, because so also, too, we have to you. look at our levy is also a five-year levy. Oh, yeah, that's right. And if we living. don't buy it now in 19. Now. Have it paid, taken care of by Have it paid and take care for it, it comes yeah. up. Exactly. Report. That's what we did with the cars. Yeah. You know, we want to get these cars, cars replaced yeah. before it's out. Yeah. And, and that's what I'm looking at also, too. Like I said, if we do sell the reserve medic, getting enough out of that money to buy a new staff vehicle. It will not be a battalion vehicle. It will be just listed as a staff vehicle and paying cash for that out of that money so we don't have another financial obligation. Is, awesome. is 20000 enough for turnout gear? You 20, yeah, because right well, since we did not get the grant, okay. um, with the grant we would we would have received 27 sets of gear. Oh, wow. Right. Wow. Uh, yeah. with, Everybody got a new set. Right, basically. <laughs> Uh, but the, the big thing you got to worry about with grants and with some of the grant issues, there's a lot of limitations to those. Mm -hmm. They would have came down and told me, you will buy form-fit gear. Oh. Wow. And that would have cut my price tag down a lot. With 20000 what I'll do is I'll buy probably five or six sets this year, five or six sets next year. Okay. Uh, and what we've done is we've already built, because when I first took over, we had zero in the cabinet. We had our shelves was bare. And now, right now, we probably have eight to ten sets in the hole. Because I also not only have to look at hiring new people, if our crews go out and we get into a hazmat situation, or like the RC fire last year, uh, German Township lost six sets of gear because of the oil that was in the water. If we go out and we, we have an incident where I lose four or five sets of gear, I need a backup. I've got to be able to replace that gear on those people. Yeah, I agree. And what I've done, though, is like when we go to buy the new sets of gear this year, I won't have to buy the whole set. 
I'll only be buying probably trousers, uh, suspenders, and coats because I've got enough helmets in stock. I've got enough boots in stock. Yeah. And we get in the hood and glove grant. That hood and glove grant is supposed to give us two sets of gloves two, and two hoods for every firefighter. Okay. So, Mr. Cobb. On the medic, I know we've discussed several times the electric cot mm -hmm. is $60,000. The cot alone, a, a new power cot, is right at twenty-two dollars to $23,000. That's the cot. That's not the load system. The load system is another thirty to thirty-six thousand dollars. We tried it for the workman's comp grant for that, and we cannot get the workman's comp grant for that until twenty twenty-one. Mm -hmm. What makes it so expensive? Because it's medical. Supply and demand. Medical and it's medical, and it's company specialized. For it's a specialized bill. use, and nobody can use I mean, them in a fire medic. Right. Hey, wait one second. We're going to get Mr. Cobb. What I'm trying to get at here, I'd like to see somewhere down the road where we can put that in the budget here, 2020, well, 2020. Well, in 2021, we can apply for the workman's comp grant for that. How competitive and, is it, though? Huh? How competitive is it? I mean, but, do we want to add well, something the, in here just no, in case? The only reason we didn't get it when I applied for it last, uh, two years ago, I put in for it, did my paperwork, called the, and you had to call the local grant, or local workman's comp office, which ours is Dayton. I called him and said, yeah, your paperwork's good to go. It should be rubber stamped. We're good. And he goes, hang on a minute, and he came back and said, sorry, you can't. I said, why? And he goes, your city received a grant in 14. Uh, Let me ask you uh, this. So that electric cot that Mr. Cobb's talking about, would that, okay, then I'm, forgive me for this, would that replace the thing that you have issues with the airbag? No, no. that's a cot. The airbag system is the truck. On the so what is, truck. what is, what is, what is He's talking about the cot. That you put the cot on. You and put reason, people on it. And the, the, oh, the one you pull out? Yeah. Right. right. Uh, the, yeah. Those are $60,000? No, the cot alone is twenty one to $23,000. Okay. That's so the load right. system, That's what so they're talking about, the load right. system, is basically you're on the patient's on the cot, you wheel the cot to the back of the medic, okay. it clicks in. All right, let me you ask you this. How many of our guys get hurt by lifting that up and have to do um, a workman's comp claim? There's, uh, there's several. Well, the, the power cots that we have right now have saved a lot of that. We already have two power cots. Oh, we do. Why do we need another one? You remember they brought them into. We wouldn't need meeting. enough. We would have to buy one with a new medic. Yeah. yeah. So on top. Oh, it's like an. Okay. See, when you buy a medic, you don't get a cot. You don't get. <laughs> you don't get nothing. Anything, anything in it. We don't even get the radio for it. And that's nothing. Like when we bought, when we purchase this medic, we're going to have to look at a cot. We're going to also have to look at a Mark, another Mark's radio to go in the, in the front. Good thing you there'll know. be a convention next year. Right. Let you me know. ask you this. Cheaper. Let yeah. me ask you this. So it's going to be about 60000 for that. Mm -hmm. And it, we have to, we should probably get that when we get the new medic. Oh, we have to. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Now we got to read it. Okay. The only, the only so, reason. Can, let me ask you this. Radios, computer, equipment, and marks. So that first line item for 15000 mm -hmm. We're able to move that to 2020. Yeah, because we're good on marks radios right now. Okay. Only thing, only thing we're going to be. And I'm just making notes. Nothing. This is final. Only thing that we had to pay out yearly with the Marks radios is ten dollars per okay. month per radio per user fee. No, new Lucas tool. I think mine's on that. The Can new we move that to 2020 since we already have one. Airplane. Yes, yeah. definitely. So how many do we have right now? We just have one. one. So if we okay. go and add, because that's going to be another sixty thousand dollars on the 2019. Mm. But for that car levy, right? Yeah. Well, our no, 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 no. Uh, okay. When he's when he's talking about the load system. That's not something that you have to buy. We don't have to have that. Only but thing we have to have is the cot. But it sure helps people from but, the lifting. <laughs> but I would much rather not spend forty some thousand dollars in twenty twenty when I know in twenty one that I can put in for the grant for it. So you're saying hold off and we'll replace see. it. Yeah, he's saying that we have to buy a cot, but not that particular cot. In my head, well, I was thinking we buy the new medic unit. We have to buy the cot. We had to buy, no, we have to buy the cot, which will be another twenty thousand. Okay? Yeah. Okay. But in 2021 we put in for the load system grant that cot is avail is able to be fitted or upgraded to meet that that load system so for randy and i sake of mind the cot is completely different than the load system yes the lo okay you see that randy system, what he's saying yeah, yeah. Okay. and the load system is not something that we have to buy okay <laughs> okay and like I said, it's I'd much rather wait till 2021 because that was another gimme grant from the workman's comp uh, system. And it comes up again. And yeah, it's there, there every year. Okay. All right, well then. Yep. We just so we're it. not changing anything on in 19 for EMS then? Uh, other uh, than the, the medic. Other than well, the yeah, medic we're putting 30000 in for the medic. Uh, well, 
Only other thing you're going to we're, we're going to need to look at again. Let me ask you this: the new medic unit does that include lights? Emergency lights? Yeah. Yes. When we get a new cruiser, we at the lighting package itself. No, no, that's that's included in with the medic because we will we will probably revert to the new system of not having a light bar on it. Um, it's going to be installed on it. Well, what well, instead of a light bar, if you look like the, the yeah, new it's medic. Built that, in. Uh, well, if you look at the new medic that. Um, Bethel Clark just bought, in, in which most fire apparatus are going to this, instead of having that light bar like what's on ours down on top of the hood or the roof, mm -hmm. it's it's a set of LED lights that go Build across. It to the windshield. Like, I know what you're right up at the top of the box. Yeah. And I I was kind of like, oh, man, that's not going to, after I saw that thing, it looks They're like bright. a Christmas tree. They're bright. <laughs> Good. Do you want to keep the Lucas still in for 19? Um, if you're going to get a new medic, you might as well. No, because no, this equipment on this medic will go to that. We'll go to the new we medic. We have one Lucas tool. Right. But don't we have two medics? We do have two medics, but I I would much rather wait on that because the Lucas tool from this medic will go to that, that, that new medic. But if our main medic is out now that has a Lucas tool in it, mm -hmm. and then... And well, then, back up. then the other ambulance is not going out because it's already out. Yeah. But well, if we well, increase our staffing. Right. Because of our staffing, we're very seldom do we put the second medic in the street. Do you mind if we just keep it in there for this for 19 and get it just we, to have we it? We can. The biggest thing we're going to have to look at is. What do you think, guys? I There's think no great. expiration date on the Lucas tool, is there? Right. Are there expiration No, no, no. Okay. No, so, no, fine. I mean, if we, if we would get it and stick it in a closet. Well, if we get it, I'll, I'll put it on the apparatus yes, because I'm second yeah. do, do, who, what all area people have a Lucas tool? Right now, it's pretty well. We're pretty well set. We have them. Uh, Pike Township has them. Bethel Clark has them. Uh, Elizabeth Township has them. Okay, so we're random situation. I'm sure it is, but it's safety services, so we got to be prepared for everything. We go to a house, and maybe there's two people going into a cardiac arrest or something along the lines that two people are going to need well, a Lucas happened. tool. You could have a double OD. Okay, so we send our medic out. Then we'll call for mutual aid. Are we sure that mutual aid responder mm -hmm. is going to have a Lucas tool? Yep. In our in our in our first run and second run mutual aid setup, both those departments have Lucas tools. Okay. The biggest thing we're going to have to look at replacing, uh, more so than a Lucas tool, is the life pack. Now, the life pack we still have it in this. Yeah. We still have that in 18's budget. Did you have you bought it yet? No, we have not. Well, we can't buy it. We can't yeah, uh, because. Uh, right now, the backup medic has a life pack 12 on it, which is going out of. Um, there's no parts for them. They're basically it's going out of. It's obsolete. Right, and I would much. And the reason we kind of held off this year of buying that is that we got the grant for the medic. We were just going to include that in with the grant money. But since we found, like I said, I found out 30 minutes before the meeting tonight that we that we were denied on both. I would say if if uh, you have the money. In 18 for in the budget. new life life pack, I would be ordering it's getting it like towards the end first of the thing year. tomorrow morning. Uh, you, it's getting towards <laughs> the end of the year, so a lot of your capital purchases will be made. Yeah, right. and okay. then we'll wait a lot. We'll wait through the year. To and see like I said, we were looking at hoping then, for the grant, yeah. and we were going to matter of yeah. fact with the grant, we were going to put in the the load system, uh, the um, you know the load system, the new Ooh. pot, the new radio, the new life pack. All we were just going to try to bundle it all in the one with the grant money. Yeah. Okay. Because. A, a medic is just like buying a car. Uh, you can buy the Cadillac, or you can buy, you know, the Volkswagen. Oh, <laughs> right. And we don't need the Cadillac, but we don't need the Volkswagen either. But we can, we can easily probably purchase a new medic for right around two hundred thousand or less. Okay. And then tell them the no. other side of that story too. No. What's that? Fire. It takes a hundred thousand to outfit it. Yeah. But the only thing, the only thing we're looking at what. Okay, medic. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but we need to kick out for that in the capital. No, no, we don't because when that medic, that new medic, right, the equipment's on medic one right now. Well, that equipment will go pulled. to the new medic. The medic, the equipment's on the backup medic will go to this medic to, to stock it. Do so you want to put another line item in an EMS just for potential upgrades on the new ant medic? I think the chief has a good handle good. on what he wants well, to do. Well, we could. No, we, that would be, that would not be a bad idea. I understand what he wants. I understand what he's saying, now. absolutely. But you also want to be safe and sure because yeah. how old is that equipment and how do you know if it's going to be compatible well, that's with where, the medic? Well, that's where we buy that when we're buying the new uh, life pack this year now, since we didn't get the grant, that new life pack will go to the reserve medic. So that way that will put us with two life pack 15s. Okay. So. I think you're the one that's professional on this, and I think we're just kind of going in a circle here. Right. Uh, I mean, 
I think that what you said is good, and we're going to buy the medic, and it's going to already be outfitted. So, well, it's it will be outfitted with old with the transfer transfer so, but, stuff. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't see why we're going to need to add another line. No offense. No, no, uh, it's fine. And then it's I think easy. that our discussion is pretty much wrapped up because we've circled the wagons, not once. Well, I, I do understand his point though. Yeah. If I mean, I agree with Randy. Say but if we come up and say, you know, because if we get that medic, okay. Worst case scenario. We'll have to amend it. We'll have to amend it. Yeah. yeah worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. Three years from now, or this coming up year is our new is our contract here with uh, Elizabeth Township. Oh yeah. Say That's we right. don't get that contract, or we don't renew with them for a contract. Okay. Which I don't see us not, but just in case they don't. Okay. Now I've got a, an abundance of personnel. Right, yeah. and how uh, what we've looked at is possible to try to recoup part of that those hours if that was to happen. I always cover my butt is put a third person on here, yeah. a three man crew instead of a two man crew, and that way that second out medic will go more often. Yeah. Ooh. So putting an extra line item in there, say for just rainy day fun, hey, that we need this now, yeah. it's not a bad idea. How much did you think it should be? I'd say fifteen thousand. Well, that comes up budget talks. Yeah. yeah, not here, not here. But other than that, because I we well didn't amend the CIP if it comes down to it. No big deal. And we've amended in the past. You guys are always gracious with usually anything safety service related. So I don't think it's gonna be an issue. You have to be. You know, it's people's lives at stake. Yeah. So we come out. We have to do extra money. We do extra money. Heck, I voted for a levy. All right. Wastewater. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, some of the stuff was on there last year. Um, we haven't finished 18 yet, so um, a lot of times I would do capitals. We'll see how the year goes. This is going to be to cast a product unforeseen emergencies, and then we'll start really heavy pushing on that CIP for, for 18. I know Howie had wanted to just do the bar screen replacement, but I thought he was talking about um, financing now uh, the bar screen and some of the pumps. Um, so those are all things that need to be done. It's just a matter of how you're going to pay for them. Yeah. Well, again, I'm not the one down there. And the wastewater is the We most, know it's needed. It, yeah, it, it's the I most mean, aging one we have. We've been down there. We've seen the fact that the bar screen doesn't work and that they failed to get out there with, with a, what they call pitchfork that's curved and pull that crap up. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, so. Bar screen needed. The pumps are needed. Skimmer box replacement. Um, I don't know if that was on there for last year or not. I don't remember. I don't mentioned. remember that even. And the list stations um, and pumps uh, clearly are needed as well. Um, and any questions on that, I would be happy to get back with Howie on them. Yeah, because uh, I know we wanted to look at spending cash for some of these things, but maybe he, financing it for two years in some cases. Yeah, but then so. I think at the last meeting he said he wanted to throw some pumps on there, but that's going to put the financing out five, six years. years that yeah. makes me a little nervous. Yeah. So I think once we get to the operating budget side of things, we'll have to nail that down and get a clear picture of how um, he was recommending us to proceed. See, with I agree. That. Water. Uh, me and Mr. Lindsay had a phone call yesterday about the high service pump repair, repair building. There is money in that for 18 as well. I'm going to get with Howie about see what we're going to do about for that for this year. That is the building that we all tore. I think it was Mr. Cobb, Cobb was there. Mr. Lindsay was there. I don't, were you there? Mm -hmm. um, and it's the one that needs painted. It's got you. really rusty bolts on there. It's the one closest to the road. Uh, the road. Yeah, you and I went through it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things I'm questioning is um, the repayment to the general fund. I, I'm almost positive I'm going to take that out completely because it's not a capital expense anymore. That is now a repayment. Okay. So you, we still have the 125 in your yearly for the pay for the for 19 and 20, but since the general fund paid for the first year, it's already paid. So I get to get with Debbie when she gets back to find out the laws on that. Okay. That if anything changes on water by the time you see it again. It's going to be that repayment to the general fund is going to be out. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. The, it still will repay it. It's just not a capital expense at this point in time. It's more yeah. of a loan, re, a debt repayment. And that's if we move it, it's going to go under the water debt. The, it, we didn't finance it clearly, but it is a debt still owed to the general fund. fund. Yeah. And I'll be very honest with you. We might have to look at that repayment term for 19 because the water funds, you know, we did raise the rates, but. I don't know if I'm going to be comfortable with how we're going to end. So just keep your open mind with it that if when we do the 2019 operating budget, um, Mr. Cobb, you okay? Okay. I sorry. I saw your head down. He's reading. Well, I didn't know what he. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. 
Uh, we, 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 might, we might have to, in 19, push that repayment back or cut it a little bit more to help the water fund. So just keep an open mind with that. No, just stretch it out another year. You stretch it out a year or something like that. Um, yeah, we, or we can just forfeit. The, I mean, how do you guys want to proceed with it? I know there was discussion last year about the general fund not repaying it at all. I don't know how I feel about that still. <laughs> That's your guys' decision at the end of the day. Um, but again, just keep an open mind to that repayment being either pushed off a year or kind of downgraded a yeah. little bit. Yeah, I mean, the money's eventually going to come back and to the... Even know. if it's over, uh, you know, so that's something like a, when we get to the 2019 operating, we have a clearer picture of how water is going to end yeah. and then what we'll need. It's something that we can openly discuss. Sounds good. It counts any questions on water? I just had one. I don't, unless I'm yes. just overlooking it. Actual main pumps. Water pumps. I thought... Water, water pumps. Yeah. From the field, I thought someone said it. Didn't how we say at one time the main pumps were like? Oh, they were like bills? twenty or twenty-five thousand. I thought he said at one time. On actual water. No, there's something about a well, uh, well field. I'll oh. ask him about it. Maybe I'm remembering something wrong. That's okay. Are you getting oh. confused with the service pump building now? No. No. He's, he's talking about the pumps that pumps the water Out of the to ground. the tower. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's the hydraulic GPS study. That's right there. It's a hydro. It's the we it. If it's the same one or not, but are you talking about if we remove the other tower by the church, we have to do the study to find out the water pressure is enough to get it no. to everybody no. else? No, he's talking Actual about if, if the physical pump pumps. goes out that pumps water right. to the tower and that pump goes out, I think there's four of them there, yeah. I think. I How much is he's, one of those pumps is you know, what he's, he's asking. I, I thought he that. said something about there's four pumps yeah. and like two of them are in rough shape or yeah. or nearing the Well, they just the, replaced some bearings or something, I thought, on the one. Yeah. That was, was, the, the bearings were replaced on wastewater. Was that what it was? Is that wastewater? Yeah. Okay. That's all. I, just, I could have swore he'd mentioned no, he it. Yeah, because they had to. And I, I, was, I didn't I see anything in here about it. No, you're right. So I'm just curious. I'll ask him about it. Thank you. Nice catch on that. Okay, cemetery. well, cemetery. I can't oh. wait to talk about this one. Oh, well, Raise I'm the sure rates and make it look can. beautiful. I'm sure everyone can't wait. All right, we have money yes. left. We have money in there for 2018 for the cemetery building. We're going to be starting on that. Uh, there is, it's the elephant. I mean, it's the second elephant in the room sometimes with that cemetery. It is a nonstop battle. I don't want to sound like a broken record. We do the best we can with it. It is what it is. Um, mm -hmm. I've had an email conversation with the mayor about that, how we can fix it going for 19. Dedicate more dedicated grass cutters back there. Um, I don't want to get too much of the of the reason uh, um, with personnel stuff like that, but I think we I honestly think we can do a better job with it. I, I really do. But it's going to take a little bit of more extra money out, maybe out of the general fund. We may have to raise the rates a little bit. But the cemetery is a nonstop battle. Yeah. I mean that's just what it is. If you've been there, you walked it. It's not lined up correctly. Headstones are over. It is, quite frankly, every year. It's it's hard to upkeep. Oh yeah, and with the cemetery, I'll elaborate more. I mean, I've gotten three complaints from this lady about the cemetery, mm -hmm. and she she messages me or emails me uh, after rainstorms. You know, oh. I just, I just cut my grass. You know, and it, it's been what four days of straight rain, mm -hmm. and people people go on on right. a Saturday or a Sunday. Yeah. So I mean, I totally understand that. I mean, it's, you're never gonna make everyone happy on that on that front. On the cemetery, it's, so it's tough. To it. And I did have a conversation with Howie about this actually earlier in the week when we got the second another round of complaints. I'm like, please elaborate to this. And he's like, listen, you know, this year we've had a rainy season. We it's rained, and it's wow. grass has grown. It hasn't been too hot of a summer, and it hasn't. I mean, my personal grass grows like weed. So there's always ways to improve, but unfortunately, you're going to have to put more bodies in the park to improve it, mm -hmm. unless we pay to, which I only think we legally can, line up the headstones. You can't move yeah, that yeah, much there, right? Yeah, I don't think we can start moving you know? bodies. I think that'd be a good idea. And, I mean, people need to tend to figure, too, that's an old cemetery. We got some stuff in there from the 1700s, I think, 1800s. We have a revolutionary you know, so, culture in there. You know, it's, yeah. it's discouraging when you see people put things on Facebook about old stones being turned over or accusing the mower hitting it or whatever the case. I mean, it's unfortunate because yeah. it's the cost of doing business when you operate a cemetery like that. And uh, we do the best we can with what we got, but like I said, we can do a better job with it. We just need more bodies in there. Yeah. Our seasonal workers that we hire, are they full time just to mow, or are they just doing other things within the city? Our seasonals are usually on the mower, but how we have it now is our superintendent for streets. Is, um, okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right. He's he's, but he's the he's the guy who's trained to sell the grades. You know, you know. So. Yeah. It it like I said, we just need to look at how we operate. operate. Yeah, I agree. 
Should this be something we discuss down the road, maybe just in an actual council uh, meeting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I've got a few things I'd like to talk about. But I mean, I, I just hope that when you, I'm sorry, Mr. Cobb, right. one, one more comment. When you guys get these complaints from the citizens that you tell them how hard it is to keep up on this, you know, it's, it is. I mean, it's not like they're not doing anything with it. Yeah. But I think people need to take a step back and realize what's, what goes into maintaining a cemetery like that. Yeah, I, I, I forget who said it years ago on someone on council. I don't know who it was, but said that that there was rules like state rule laws that you know it only had to be done so many times. Dick Zambach was it Zambach? Yeah, I remember that. And I looked it up, and he was right. Yeah. So I mean, and I'd always thought let's. I was always thinking let's sell it. I mean, but I'll privatize but, it. But what yeah, would happen? That's what I talked about. Then it could you. be ten times worse. Yep, it could. You know, but I think yeah, we, little things we can only do. cut it twice a year. Right. <laughs> I would like to see that little front office remodeled. That cemetery building house is not in the best of shape. <laughs> yeah. It's not. But, but, you know, some nice, you know, you can put cheap hardwood floors in there. They, these are not expensive hardwood floors. I'm assuming you didn't put them in, Brad did, but they're nice. <laughs> you know, like there's little things you can do to make the appearance look better. And we, yeah. need, we need to do a better job of that as the administrator. I, I recognize it. Um, There's always room for improvement, but yeah. I don't think people deserve a beating like they take sometimes. Oh, sure. yeah. Yep. Sorry, Mr. Cobb. Go ahead. Mr. Cook had discussed with you about using the prisoners to help weed and mow some of that down there, which then again, you have to discuss that with the union. They come a couple times a year, what I was told. I think they come two or three times a year already. But then you have, I mean, it costs money for the sheriff to get them here. So I mean I don't I don't know the ins and outs. Do I think they're going to come down once a month? No. Oh, I don't know. I'm yeah, I, I I don't know. But you do have it. You have a collective bargaining potential issue there. You're right. You but also we've talked to maybe some of the citizens <coughs> volunteering the time. Absolutely. There again, That's you great. said it had to go back to the union to, to get approved. They just have to wave off, and I don't think they're going to make a big deal out of who's going to cut the grass or not. I think right. they'll, they'll give that up pretty Especially quick. Especially the cemetery. But we do have to go through the motions, per se. Yeah. I mean, we do. But I think it's a great opportunity for citizens to come together and get down there and do some stuff if they choose, choose so choose to do it. Absolutely. Question, Mr. Mayor. If we had citizens down there and somebody got hurt, what type of liability would we oh, we'd be under liability. There? Pardon me? We, we would be liable. Is it... And I don't know the legal aspects of this question. The could they sign off a waiver that? Well, you can sign a waiver for anything, but you can still be held negligent. Yeah, you can still fight it. You can still yeah. fight it. Yeah. I mean, I think the mo I think if someone's there to help, they're they're, yeah, they're there to do good things. I don't unless it's catastrophic, they paralyze themselves or something like that. Maybe I don't want to even talk about it because I, I mean, if, it if, if, if somebody just would, if, if people would volunteer to go to Weed Eat. That would help tremendously oh, it would. in the cemetery as far as things getting cut, because mm -hmm. then you don't have to edge around each headstone. Yeah, I would have to limit like I'm assuming people of 18 or older. We can't have a minor in there operating oh, I would that. I would I'm think assuming, that. and yeah. they would have to bring their own equipment because we don't have enough equipment to right. out to everyone. Yeah. But I think we could promote a day where we show up at the cemetery, maybe in a cool community day. weed eating, yeah, community <laughs> weed eating day or community yes. involvement day, and it gets the citizens back. And I, we've had a great conversation with it. I think it was a fantastic <coughs> conversation. Yeah. But we do have to go through the motions and let the union know. But I don't think they're going to fight that at all. <laughs> so I do you want to go mill? That. I think they're good on that. How many want to mill our yards? Yeah. Yeah. Side, right? Sure. I, well, I personally like to mill, but um, so we get on cemetery. Yeah. Anything? I think snow it's snow plows. Cemetery. I see backhoe, dump truck, attachments in this extra snowplow. 2019, 2022. What about it? Does it only last, snowplow only last, what, three years? If you buy one in 19? It, it could. I mean, it could break. It could, it could do whatever. You always want to be on a replacement plan with your stuff, so it's probably why it's in there. If you don't want it in there for 2022, just take it out, and we can address it uh, years, years to come. CIP comes back next year, too, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, so, like, this yeah. stuff, like, down the road. Yeah. It's getting changed yeah. more yeah. likely. Changed I mean, it always time. comes up. So can you get a snow pile for five grand? Is, is that what I'm reading this here, the attachments? That, that's what he budgeted. All right, well. From up the road here? or I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, uh, you. Yeah. If you remember, the guy that shot fireworks off has a plan for plows, hose, or backhoes, and stuff like that. 
Oh, he sells them. Yeah, you're right. But he also about has that. a maintenance Somebody's cooking. deal in there also in a payment situation, too. Yeah, I got his card. I forgot about it. I forgot Tom. about selling that stuff. Yeah, Tom, what's yeah. his name? Yeah, he's a good guy. It's a good call. From yeah. All right, so pool. Mr. Mr. Bridge. Um, well, the paint chair. seal for $1,000 is going to come out because it's not a capital. It's uh, not high enough to be a capital for 19 oh, all right. So if you guys want to raise that up to 2200 to make it a capital, you can. If not, we can take it off completely. It's going to get done regardless, so we got to. But it shouldn't be $1,000, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we just might have I don't know. Paint seal that whole pool. How much did they, they paid it last time? How much was it? I thought it was like 2500 It may have been. I or is that filling cracks or something? Well, it says touch up. That's all it says is touch up. Yeah, so I So I'm taking that 1000 out. Yeah. If it doesn't kind of and classify as a capital purchase. Mr. Lindsay. The, uh, what's wrong with the, it uh, says here to replace two filters. Are they, is that the medium or the whole thing or what? what's wrong with them? Why would they need to be replaced? Probably just general maintenance. They're probably just wear and tear on them. I know there's, I talked to Mike about this literally like, they're, like maybe five minutes ago. Um, there's five pumps at the pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when's a lot? There's, you, there's one pump. And there's four or five sand filters behind the building. So you're Sorry, talking, I misspoke. Five so filters. Okay, so you're talking about the medium in them, the sand, or replacing the entire filter? It says replace two filters and major crack repair. So I, I would go with what, how he described what he's doing. I would think it'd be cheaper if something isn't wrong with the filter itself, that replacing the medium in it would be a lot cheaper. I'm sure it was. It's and not that we can do that when we can, but we have to. We have to budget for the worst possible scenario. So the, these are just in case something happens to it, basically. Well, they yeah, they clearly they need replaced. It says replace filter and major crack repair in 2019. So if we're budgeting for it, he's going to budget for the most expensive possible fix. Okay. If it comes lower than that, if it's just the medium, yeah. great, that's awesome. But if it comes out that we need to replace that whole filter, we need hmm. to account for that. Well, I, I'm not a big fan of sand filters, anyways, but because there's better filters. Why is there a sand filter? I don't see in that one. Huh? Why is it's there because the filter don't let the sand out. No, <laughs> it's a, the, the, the sand filters the, the water. water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. filters the water. I'm not sorry. I don't and then the back washes. Cool. All those kids go so in that. It totally and makes sense. Mark, you call me back. out on it. it makes <laughs> the sand is the filter. But in my head, I'm thinking, <laughs> the sand is the filter. I, no, I got just, it's, it's like my turtle tank. <laughs> that rocks. And that wet water. stuff in there, it's called water. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Hey, hey. Even if now we don't need a boiler, right? Because that, that was fixed. <laughs> that was already right? fixed. That was, a, that was. We only have what, one of them, correct? The yeah. boiler. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One. All right. That's good. Answer. Anybody good with the pool? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Council, any comments on the uh, CIP? Uh, Wait one second, Mike. Oh. oh, we need to talk about this. What is that? This is the startup cost for the brine. Oh, the brine. oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. How we had to get some stuff together. We don't have to add it right now. It's something that we can amend the CIP on. Um, I would like Howie to do a little bit more research on this because this is really only one day. Too much. Yeah. Um, it is a high startup cost. So um, I want Howie to look at it some more, to be honest with you. I think if we can get it going, it's going to re reduce how much money we pay to make our street safe, I think we should heavily look into it. Um, but it is a big startup. Okay. So question is, do we go ahead and add a line item? Because this is coming out of streets. <laughs> Street planning is <laughs> a lot of money. Do we go ahead and add a line item in the CIP just to have it on there? Which I think uh. we should. Because we don't have to expend it. But you have, you have another council member, I think you may have two, that really want us to look into this. I, and again, just because it's there doesn't mean it's going to be there. I think we probably should wait for Howie yeah. to tell us. That's a lot of money. I mean, again, you don't have to spend the money. Yeah. Right? And you know what? If the line is in there, it shows good faith and effort that you're looking at all possible ways. Well, let's say we do it I, and put it in the CIP and those members come back and say, hey, it's in the CIP, this is something we wanted. And it's no different than the police cruiser that you're going to yeah, buy. Yeah, right. that's it's true. Just, not, it, it just because it's in there, it's not going to be there. Yeah, it's going to be. I don't have a problem argument. putting it in the CIP on a line item. 
fix a little the, street with that much money. Yeah, it's too big. Yeah, yeah. But 31 grand to start it up with, and that's only an estimate, he says. No, if we're going to put it in there, it's going to be it's going to be a little higher than that. You got to go up a little 35 or 40. Yeah, I'm sure you see the lines on the road, like. The night before, so but I'm telling you right now, it's going to go in there by the time we do the 2019 operating budget. There's not going to be enough money in there to do it. I, I like not that not unless something happens, but I still yeah. think I still think you guys should agree to do the line item. So, the so does, what does Mr. Mayor? What does Council think about putting 35,000 in there line item CIP and see what it happens when we get to the budget? I'm personally against that, Mr. Lowry. I don't know how you feel. I, I mean, I'm, I would never vote to actually spend that much money but just to put it in there for conversation's sake yeah that's fine with me mm -hmm. and mr cobb i'm assuming you're for this <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so, all right then it's I, in there I, I can see the benefits of it uh you're going to see you also have seen the downside of it <laughs> look like you're paying for salt you're still going to, have to use salt though right i mean i would Get imagine that out of the water treatment plant there's your brine all right mm -hmm. Water, anything water related has to be used for water purposes. You cannot take anything out of the water enterprise fund and not use it anywhere else unless there's some sort of charge for it. So we just need to make sure that's no. Yeah. Does that make sense? Even it's though it's being fund. thrown away. We now that doesn't mean that the street it. can't buy it from the water department, but it won't be just given for free. Even though it's being thrown away. I don't, I, I, Because I, the prime, the prime when it, when, when the softeners and stuff regenerate and it we'll have to see gets other rid of it, do. that's what the brine is. What do we do with the brine now? Uh, I guess it goes down to the sewer. I don't know what they do with it. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, so we'll just have to make sure we do it legally right. first off. But I think it's definitely worth putting it in there to do research. Well, according to Bob, we can do that. <laughs> Well, Bob doesn't know state law. Well, I'm just telling you what I'm <laughs> Yeah, Bob. <laughs> but you got a versus what you're paying for salt. No, I'm right there with you. Salt versus crazy. this. It shot up 50% this year per ton. Yeah. And that's another thing we need to discuss is buying more salt next year to have a reserve. Because remember that crap we had with <laughs> trying to get salt this year and going yeah. back and forth with that contract? Yeah. Well, there's that. And Washington. Two Town. years ago, we had the big issue where we ran out and then we had to wait. Yeah. You know, so we need to have reserves which is going to mean we're going to have to build another salt place back there behind the hut even if we get one of these we're going to have to probably build another place container Storage, yeah. talking to howie he was like it's a good idea to have one side ready to go and then one side just normal salt so one of the things i know we briefly discussed at howie and i is if we build that big barn at the white wastewater plant is use the hut mm -hmm. for salt storage see if that would work Okay. So again, put it in your line on it for discussion. It's something we can look at. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, mm -hmm. but I think it shows good faith and effort to everyone on council that hey, we like your idea. We're going to look into it. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but if, if we can do it, we can do it. All right. Council, anything else, Mr. So, oh, oh, oh. so oh. salt brine is going under 2019. How much are we doing on that? 30. No, 32 that he recommended. 31. Uh, I'd 35. recommend. Let's see, he 35. said I, I, I recommend 35. I'm not doing only anything past 2019. Only because right? it's an like estimate. 20, 21, 22, not and not if it gets more. ridiculous, I just I don't know. I, okay, that's all I had. Sorry, I just want to clarify that before we left. There's a lot more questions on that from that would how we would have to answer. I think in my mind, right. as far as the containers, or if they're going to be plastic, then plastic never goes away. If they're going to be some type of metal involved containers, yeah, uh, that corrode. Yeah, they will corrode in a heartbeat, like in a year and a half, two years. No, I thought these are all plastic. They all, they're all plastic. Did so, he say in here they're plastic? Yeah. Well, some places did. I mean, I'm assuming they're plastic. The uh, and he only spent what 30 minutes on putting this together, so. Yeah, I want him to dig, dig, dig deeper into it. Yeah, to be he, with we, you. We, I think we need more information. And I don't have a problem putting it on the CIP because, like I said, you know, it, if it it may never happen, it may not even have the votes to do it. But it it's something that I think we, we should look at. Like I said, I can see both sides of it. The salt brine, if you get it down before a storm, then when you run the plows down it, it's going to take the salt off the or take the uh, snow off the road. And then the next time, then you have to throw salt down because it's only pretty much a one-shot thing, if I remember correctly, isn't it, Ron? When they put the brine down? Yeah. Tired. It, it depends on, on the amount of snow you get. Now, we get 
two, three foot of snow sitting there, yes, it, you're, you're going to end up going back to dropping salt down. Okay. This will get you up to foot, foot and a half on the salt brown. Okay. Mm. That we wouldn't have to use salt or salt on? But that's the I mean, that's, Listen, that's, that's they keep on charging salt. $90 a ton of salt. Yeah. We're going to do something anyway. Yeah. I mean, City Springfield mixes beet juice with their salt. Yeah, some of them does that. I think uh, Huber does it too. I think that I've seen some. Uh, Huber, I've seen some color Huber on their uses road. the salt brine and they mix the beet juice with their salt. Right. They put the salt brine down first, and they come along if they, oh, sorry. they, they get a heavy snow and plowed out. Then they put the uh, beet juice and salt in. Yeah. All right, Mr. Lowry had a question. I just want to know if you guys would be okay if I asked uh, Mr. C manager here if you could ask. Howie to put together some sort of, I mean, not super detailed report, but mm -hmm. just on all the trucks that he's got, you know, all the pickup trucks. Oh, yeah, definitely. On equipment? Yeah, I just, yeah. I'd, equipment. I'd like to see it. Sure. Yeah. I mean, because he'll, he'll rip off the name of a truck, and I don't know which truck that is. No, but, uh, but I've we seen, have, I think we have something like that. I'll, I'll see what he, I, I know exactly. Just like, like that red Dodge. Do we still have the red Dodge that rolls around that looks like The red Ford? Yeah. Would you? That's a dodge. You okay? To, it might be a Ford. You okay to get that on an Excel sheet? Because that's the easiest way. To yeah, do. just whatever's yeah. easiest. Just so we can kind of personally judge what kind I, I of our the old I one. I see a I see an old red truck right around. Yeah, and it is. looks horrible. You want that across his department? Oh, his department. Yes, please. Okay. If, if uh, I, would, I would also I, I would also here. like to see in conjunction with that. The year they are, right. the mileage exactly. they are, well, and the condition they're in. Exactly. That's, that's I mean, that's, 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 that'll instead be of just saying, well, this truck is this color and this is what it yeah. is. Or this uh, old. Yeah. I'll just call it a, a vehicle it. stock update, is what I'll tell them to do, and that's going to have the year, make, model, mileage, wear and tear, expected life expectancy. We'll get you covered. He's got I'm pictures, that would be great. That. We'll get you everything you, you need. I had, uh, I had I'm pretty noticed, thorough. I had never noticed that. Thank you. All right. That's all I had all right, Council, anything else on this? No. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lowry. Uh, make a motion, we adjourn. Second. <laughs> I adjourn.